and nons and nons on the board. What's the most cucked fan base of them all? Cover headquarters, April 2023. Beware of the odd day of April. The Sam Burr. The shakeup was in December. Kiara just confirmed the change in EN management lol. Holy shite is real? The homo stars are getting terminated for that reason? I kneel Mr. Jab. Yago is in Korea, apparently. Hello, Kiara? Is Segyai bro sweating right now? Why is Yago in Korea? Eating Kanata's ice cream. Fast! Let the unicorn cream wash away. Your inner homosexuality, Yago. If you stop thinking of your Oshi as your wife, you or girlfriend, you will never have a problem with male collapse. Never thought of my Oshi as a wife or a girlfriend. Still, won't watch her collab with males. When the only reason I'm in in this fandom is the girls only stuff. You take your meds. You see a woman and assume everyone just wants to fust them? Sex cease. Another boring day has passed without any announcement of Vesper and Magni's termination. I'm tired of waiting, bros. Will that white paper ever be released? Hold me, bros. We'll make it through this together, right? We are going to make it, right? We will pass this dark moment. And when we look back at this, we'll laugh and seed post, right? Say something, my bros. I believe in you. Literally nothing has happened over the past 24 hours. Hmm, boards, suspiciously slow, sums, about to happen. Eat this, sisters. Uh, bye! Yo! Are you magging, sisters? Yikes! Get fudge! Finally, some good news! Let's freaking go! Tempus is over? Ha 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 ha! Best news. How I'm going to be sleeping at night after this news. The meal! It's just extended break, guys. Get fudge, homo beggars. Nail! Two down, six to go. Excise the entire tumor. Raid my stream if you dare. <laughs> Total homo star's death. For Chan to beat it, reacts to Vesper and make me graduation. Announcement regarding graduation of Magni Desmond and Noir Vesper. Two members of the VTuber group. Hollow Stars English, Magni Desmal, and Noir Vesper will be graduating on Thursday, August 31st, 2023. The members will not be performing any further activities such as graduation streams. Well, Anons, are you enjoying the white paper? The hooves of victory march on. Gura won. She freaking won. I hope Crony cries over this. Remember to say thank you to Mr. Jab. No wonder Gura wasn't streaming. She was doing the final prep for the execution. Gura, I kneel. I feel an overwhelming sense of joy and relief that I haven't felt for months. I'm so glad that we no longer have to deal with the t their crazy behavior and behind-the-scenes bullshit anymore. We all know this is coming, but this makes me so happy. The Halmos and sisters are finally fucking dying. I uh, kind of expected it, but why though? What why? They are a cancer to whole cover. Remember when the signs started appearing and predicted we're going to get graduated or terminated? Remember when we were getting Sid on and being antis? Remember when they all bet against the VTuber Illuminati? Most influential remembers. I will hecking epically own my unit at Haita A- Kick! What a bang! Fudge you Vesper. Kiss my ash. Fudge you crony. Hope how much dig worth it. It's finally over. Bros, we've won. It's the first step in Jabshaw Mass Grand Scheme to achieving TMD total male deaths. How Lee based? Unicorn Chad? Can't stop winning? Won't stop winning? What is going on? Suddenly, my horn just grows bigger, stronger, and longer. Unicorns are thriving. Cuckolds are seething. In the end, good guys are always winning. Feels good, bros. We're not just the good guys, we're the best guys. God damn, it feels good to see that white paper. Total homo stars genocide? No need to thank me, Anons. Cleaning house, baby. God, I'm so glad this scare guy is gone. I hate his lying ash making up stories and his Mita tape fans so much. Groom in hell. Kekekek, near the day of Crony's anniversary stream too? 
make up BS stories about adventures you supposedly had. Think you'll look like an epic Lestrade kind of outdoor man by buying a spear. Dodge a ton of male collabs, but always appear whenever a female is around because you're a total horn dog. <laughs> Says, ah, fudge the rules, I do what I want, multiple times, and DM hollow girls who don't want to talk to hollow stars. Also, raid hollow girls, despite not previously getting the okay for that. Fudge you, Vespashite, you deserve this ending. This is exactly what you get when you hire Twitch folks. Repulsive, talentless, nyparasitic credence, with inflated egos, whose only course of action is slumping over and coasting. But don't worry, you guys. You'll be able to catch their epic debut subathon where they autoplay YouTube videos for 12 hours, while the audience amuses themselves with TDS and sound effects. The trans favorites got Bonka? This is freaking amazing. Where is your yappa dappa do and mag folks now? Top kick. Good riddance. The world is beautiful. Hollow stars has fallen. Dozens must graduate. I'm just glad that Hamo collabs are essentially dead in the water. Bonus being that since this will be a taboo subject from now on, even less chance of others trying something like this again. Another hollow chat W. A toast for the success of hollow life and the death of homo stars. Total homo shy death and total sister's death. The future looks bright. So that's it. Unicorns, just win. It was always gonna end like this, Anon. Unicorns were always right and Cover finally saw it. Looks at Tempest numbers. If the Halmo beggars wanted to win, they should have showed up. Literally lost Crony after not buying her merch, and now she has to whirl herself out to us. I can't collab with the girls anymore. I quit. He didn't yabba dabba do so good. Weird ash suspension, graduation, no graduation streams. What the frick did they do? Probably being entirely too entitled. Thought they could hold the branch hostage and demand more equity. That doesn't fly in a Japanese company. In accordance with their wishes, we have accepted their decision to graduate. Contract! You friggin' bleaches! Friggin' called it! That's definitely a contract dispute. Crony decimated her fan base for this. Keck, what a fired couple of males. Rest in, piss, you won't be missed. Party time. Knows there's nothing good for them in Hollow Stars. Leave. Already smarter than most homos, Deshu. Here, the reasons. About that raise, boss, can I get can I get a raise? Hey, what do you want in advance? Yes. <laughs> Alright, I have a contract for you. <laughs> Better check it with your lawyer beforehand. <laughs> you never know. They knew! <laughs> you will kneel to Gura! And you will like it. Halmo peasants! <laughs> Graduate the rest of Halmos now! Yaba, Daba, Du! Two Halmo stars are gone. The rest are going too. Total Halmo stars death? Allahu Akbar. When you yava so hard, you get dabba, dude. Sacrifice your views for a male man hurrah. Hello, Tempest. More like hello, temporary. Were they spies sent to destroy Tempest from the inside? Join Howlow Stars. Cause problems? Out the Howmo collabers. Highlight the LARPing Stars fans. Destroy Howlow Stars' reputation to the ground. Leave since mission accomplished. They've done their job, Trojan style. They're now going home to their previous personas. Rate my error at. So here's the ranking. First place, Vesper, 59 days of suspension. Second place, Magni, 45 days of suspension. Third and fourth place, Coco and Hayatame, 21 days of suspension. Fifth place, Alawe, 14 days of suspension. Sixth place, uh, Towa, 7 days of suspension. Honorable mentions, Marin, Miko, and Duga, seven days break to cool things off. Way, all brothers, bound by horn. Okay, but why did they announce EN graduation on JP Primetime, though? So we can party all day. I know, right? This caught me off guard. Because every afternoon, since their suspension, I always mentally prepared myself to celebrate. Just in case, Cover announced their termination. I am so, so sad. Sniff, sniff, a blue, 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 blue. Vesper was like a father to me, and Magni was like a stepfather to me. Sniff, this is so sad. I can't deal with the sadness. It's unbearable. I'm throwing a party to cope with the sadness. Please, show me your best dance moves. 
to try to make my day a little bit happier. Poor tapey people in the house tonight. I Iris Gorilla Karaoke. Jump in, jump in. Celebrate together with Iris. Iris uh, here to celebrate. Some karaoke to celebrate the Vespers funeral. We're going all out tonight, boys. Iris is dancing on the Howmo's graves tonight. Oh no, 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 sisters. Death uh, to all our enemies. Hollow life will reclaim its former glory. Ave Maria. Super chat. Uh, why did you do such a late night karaoke the other day? Iris. I don't know. I was just really hype and wanted to sing. Holt frickin' bass trish. Halmo's just terminated two hours ago. Dunno, man, I was just freaking hyped for some reason? Holy hell, Iris. My knees! Oh, ooh, stop it. The sisters will neck themselves. Absolute homo shit and sister death. The 24th of August should be celebrated. Wake up. Oh, it's my birthday. How are Bahoos graduated? This is the best birthday present ever. Happy birthday, fellow Chumbud! It's my birthday on the 31st. Now I'm looking forward to it. Happy birthday, Anon. Hope you enjoy your gift of two dead Halmo stars. Gentlemen, cheers. Cheers to Hall Alive. Today, we feast. I pay the jinx. It's Magan time. Bibu pressed the big red button. Two Magnillion casualties. Cheers. I wish all holo life chads on the board a very pleasant rest of the day. The only thing that brings me down from my happiness is being reminded that Tempest isn't completely eradicated yet. But don't worry, we're getting there. Post yo face when your Oshi knew better than to have anything to do with these retats. My girl is immaculate. So who gets bragging rights for getting them to graduate? Me. Me. All me. Press P to piss on Tempasanji's grave. I wish all Niji chats a pleasant weekend. I'll let you celebrate with us this time, Nijisis. It's a win-win for both of us, after all. Cheers! The news has put me in such a good mood that I could even share my drink with the Niji sisters, FaZe fans, Jews, and everyone that want to join. Only for today, tomorrow, we are enemies again. We can celebrate it together today. Mister took a hike. Vesper took a hike. Reclining hard. Magni took a hike. Reclining harder. Men are not sustainable. Be a unicorn god. Let those who lament the lack of Halmo collapse bleed and cry their bloody tears. Our time was before, and it so shall be again now. Male VTubers either graduating or reclining hard. Are we living in the golden age of CG DCT? All v should be female. All viewers should be male. As God intended. Male VTubers were a mistake from the very beginning. How mo bros D did we mag too hard? I'm laughing so hard right now. Get rid of all of them. Spend thousands in financing. Not one, but two models. Each on dollars in a pair of nails. They leave a week after. Was it worth it? Wasting a whole freaking year on those retats? We would be having EN4 right now. Fudge Omega! If you really think about it, there will never be another Hollow Stars EN generation out of fear of them just gaining clout and bailing at the first possible chance. Unicads won! I have no proof we bullied them out of Tempest. But I'll say we did! Why did they do it, bros? Do what, Fudge Ame? They hate their fans, and they never cared about hollow steers. Eh, this is what happens when you hire bros instead of people that actually want to be idols. Or bad away. They don't want to support the cause. It's incredible what a dumpster fire Tempest ended up being. A Menhera sociopath? A grifter and a train pusher, single-handedly making women look like the superior gender. Cover, please, you percus! Don't let Paco Sun redesign my model. I promise I won't collab. Beg the girls and let them do CGD Shida. Please, Paco, don't ak ak ak. Paco is two out of two in Chubas he created graduating a year into their life, the life of a uh, homo lover. Brothers, why is Paco so cursed? Mind broken by Sana, became a homo beggar, 
to fill his void and instead of supporting other girls? Now he suffer from homo curse. Deserved. Would she have collabed with Tempest? Hello, homo beggars and tourists. Hey, I come with just a bit of friendly advice. Supporting your boshe by actually watching their streams is more valuable than begging other livers to collab with them just to spite the people who actually do watch streams and support the livers. <laughs> That's is all. Have a nice day. Watching streams? Nah. I just updoed homo posts on Reddit and Twitter. That should be an act. Unicorn W. It's official. Investors confirmed based unicorns. Hama beggars in shambles. The price. We'll go to the moon once the Tempest is disbanded. For all the unicorn bros out there. How does it feel, how most sisters, to be a weed? Anyone know a way of how to contact covers shareholders? We need to show them how much money Hollow Stars wastes by just existing. If Yago is not going to listen to us, then his board of directors who actually care about profits, unlike him, will. Loved their fans? Loved their gen mates? Quit doesn't make sense. Tempus doesn't make sense. Magni was always a clout chasing homosexual and Vesper is a bigger bwege than actual women. Uh, so yeah, it does make sense. Asian Twitch Sloot, In It Four, Pump, and Dump. 35 that's a 36 year old virgin mental patient. Makes sense to me. Vesper? Tier 1000 Menhera Manchild who probably just rage quit over something mine, thinking he will be able to drag all his fatherless cuck fans to his orc persona. Magnish! <laughs> Typical Twitch Todd clout chaser. Zero attachment to his fans or the job. It's almost like they didn't give a shit about their fans, their genmates, nor Hololibe, and just saw this as a sloppy side gig. For you guys to see how much Hello Leave lost on Tempest, hired two males who bailed with their new fans instead of putting more people in the box, caused a lot of drama and diminished it, caused severe damage to ID fan base and killed the hype of their most popular member, pretty much ending any credibility of the branch that will carry on to ID4, killed any possibility of an Holo Stars EN to be successful by having a city legacy. That only lost to Niji E.N. and some other small corpos. By branding the name How Low Stars, also damaged the credibility of the original JP branch. Created a bridge through Niji Holo after the Discord leak who proves Niji Sanji are backstabbers, also stealing the credit from Kiara. Brought a disgusting tri knee fan base who doesn't watch streams and keeps pestering the talents by dog sing, begging, and bothering people on communities, such as Reddit, by posting hollow stars outside their containment, causing people to hate them even more. I didn't know. The sex pest raided Ollie, and Veshkex were defending this guy all this time? Well, on one hand, no one oh, really cares about Ollie since she's thoroughly paused through and through. On the other hand, this set a dangerous precedent and forewarning for the other girls. And we saw it with Kiara. I'm glad the guy fudged off, or got told to fudge off. Apologize. Why are homo beggars like this? Stop bringing up other streamers unprompted for fudge shake. Um, so, uh, graduation was announced, um, for English stars, for, uh, don't ask me anything about it. I don't really have any, I didn't have any connection with them. If you want to talk about it, then, uh, yeah, this is not the place. I, I, I never talked to them, so I really don't know what's going on. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, it's really unfortunate, especially for Papa, Paco, Papa. Paco, Papa. Thing I can say, I don't know any reason. I really don't know what to say. <laughs> A bummer, I guess. Like, I didn't have anything to do with them. Yeah, I really can't say or do anything. So, yeah, Crony and Callie collabed with them a few times. So, that's maybe pretty uh, upsetting for them. I don't know. She doesn't even try to sound sad or disappointed, lol. Heck! She sounds happy! Lamau! She just went full on. Not my problem. This chicken is a fine wine. She just keeps getting better. LAMAU!
Oh, that homo beggar fanfic comic about Vesper rating Ten Chu is gonna age it like milk. <laughs> Sisters freaking destroyed. Let's freaking go. Homo's graduate instantly rush to the member who never collabed with them and try to force an answer out of her about them. What were they expecting? She 100% knows and just doesn't want to talk about it. Kek! Homo beggars already seething in the comments. Kek! Sisters found the Kiara clip. Homo beggar tears are always a lovely sight. Thanks for the screenshot, Anon. It's get better. I firmly, implacably believe both Vespa and Magni were in hiding because unhinged unicorns from 4chan were threatening them for, for having the goal of collabing with females. The invisible gun. My gun is now fully visible. My gun is uncloaked. Unhinged unicorns? Yeah, me. Oh, no, 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 no. Unicorn jihad now. Top mother freckin' keck. She didn't get the chance to collaborate with them, but had small interactions for them. Due to the barrier between collabs, invisible gun strikes again. Imagine saying that comment when homo beggars invaded her chat. Yeah, it's a bummer, I guess. Remember, all of this started because Vesper raided Kiara. Fear, the KFP Mafia. It all comes back to him. K-V-F-P Summer! I knew! Hero. Oh, no, no, no. Sisters, we got too cocky. Kiara always hated these guys. She's probably feeling vindicated as Fuge right now. Be Vesper! Raid Kiara. It's the last thing you ever do. She had him assassinated. Gets raided. Exterminates the Halmo. I kneel. This is what we call unsolicited raid. Kiara was not having it and complained to management. Most likely this was the final straw that did it. It's just really disrespectful when Kiara must be on the do not raid list for Tempest, and yet he would do it anyway against her wishes. Kiara has the balls to report to upper management. Was the raid worth it, Vespus? Pretty funny how the last thing he ever did was raid Kiara's stream while saying he doesn't give a shit about the backlash or what will happen. I remember sisters gloating and laughing like goblins when Vesper raided Kiara with his army of fans. No. Mercy. Let them. Burn. How did she do it, VT? Rubbed clams with Jen Ma. By understanding the nature of her profession, Kiara's been though a lot of shit in her life trying to become an idol. She's living that dream she worked for. So why do people think she got the homo stars fired? Honestly, she has too much power. Even though she is considered the runt of EN, and combined with her blunt personality, she somehow managed to be management's darling. With sponsorships, permissions, appearances, holatory, etc., she legit has too much pull. I do find it rather hilarious uh, that of all the people in Hollow Life, uh, uh, Vespa uh, decided to try and lamely assert dominance to, in public, yes, it was the member with very direct connections to upper management. The red line for the boys is basically do not contact the girls in public in any way, shape or form unless you have gotten the green light from them prior to it. Eh? Trying to test your luck with Kiara of all people is like strolling into oncoming traffic. Just plain rat a tete. He sounds like the type of guy that would grape and or murder a girl for rejecting him. So let me get this straight. You're in some kind of argument with some imaginary menace, and you decided to raid me to spite them? You dumb mother fudger. You're living off the back of our coattails. You siphoned fans off the back of our efforts. I spent my first freaking year having mental breakdown after mental breakdown. You know what I didn't do? I didn't get suspended fighting JJ after that freaking ash howl left me to rot. I bowed out and found Jane Ma and moved on. I kept my nose down and was a team player supporting my team and yours with no immediate benefit to myself. 
What I got instead was clout with management. So you know what? I'm done. Jenma, can you please get me a meeting with Mr. Job? I think we need to make a change in Hololife production talents. Alpha Stacy, I kneel. Everyone likes to say that. Gura is the one secretly controlling Hollow EN. But people seem to forget that Kiara is the one wrangling her. You want something done? You'll put an Austrian on the helm. Rules Hollow Life in like a dictator with an iron feast. In the end, the closest thing to a farewell from the EN girls that the boys got was Kiara basically saying, sucks to suck, oh well, limo! Why doesn't she care? Their brains can't comprehend the fact that maybe she doesn't give a shite. Tempest fans sitting themselves with rage because Kiara didn't pretend to be heartbroken over the graduation of two people she never so much as talked to? I love orange women like you wouldn't believe. They live in a constant paradox between no, Kiara totally loves the boys, she's just pretending to be unicorn friendly, collab any day now, and Rai, why isn't she kissing your boys' rings, freaking boy? Can you forgive Crony? Nope. I told her she was making a city decision, and she didn't listen. Homo Calibers deserve the rope. The worst weren't the collabs, it was the reaction. She probably crying right now, thinking Vespa. She'll just find another boy toy, if not in the current Homo Stars lineup. New Homo Stars in the future. And frankly, she's just boring. Is there any reason to not disband the branch by the end of September? End of the quarter. With Vespa and Magni gone? They are officially in a worse position than Holostar's JP. People were hopeful about the EN branch because they showed higher potential than the JP one on debut with Vesper and Magni. But with these two graduating, the branch only has Betel, while the JP stars have Robeiru and Ashtel. There is no reason to keep the EN branch around, no? There is no reason to keep Holostar's at all. Period. Reminder, that cover has 600 freaking pieces of plastic sitting in a warehouse of these males each. When did it all go so wrong, Yago? Why are you the enemy to your own corpo? Yago asking Dimitri for a deflection for the homozontal cuck fest. More like, job can't control what JP management does. JP management does re -tet -tet chef that affects EN. Graduate the two top homos. This is just a warning, yago son. You live and die by your own solo kanta. <laughs> New girls to collab with? Yup, ha, 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 do ask. Stay at home, Dad. To cronies and his child. Screen cap this. Baby cries in cronies streams eight months from now. Get the fudge in here. They're making it sound like a freaking eulogy. Holy freaking cat, my sides. Why does the Tempest announcement stream sound like a funeral? It's just Tempest members uh, making speeches about their memories while chat cries. The juxtaposition between the two streams is funny. Almost uh, depressed, somber, mm -hmm. Kiara, happy, laughing, Korean, Jodzu. Why is this trending? It's only seven minutes long. So? The sisters thought it was a clip. What's Holostar JP's reaction to all these? You think anyone asked them? They jumped on the EN girls first. Do they even have any reason to care? It's not like they seem to have had much interaction with either. The two tumors. Get removed. This releases right afterwards. Even the JP stars are taking the piss. Barely an hour after Cover made a graduation announcement. Releases a song called Superior Stars. It's real? Howly friggin' Sneed! <laughs> Trouble in Paradise? Sisters? Superior? Stars? Don't you think it's a bit rude of Stars JP to release this original right after the graduation announcement? Comedic timing? Or do they not care for their kuhai at all? Finally, I can make this comparison. Maybe? Got harassed and death threat for years. Stays uh, and did his best to grow the branch. Vespa and Magni saw that there would be no Yobe Dabadu with Gura in the new contract. Immediately. Leave. Opinion from Stars JP representative. Corpo mandated tweet. My cutie Rio will never forgive Flay Goat calling him. They slash them.
Stars JP You May Joes have no chill. Astral Chad, I near all. Implying Stars fans like Tempest? Those turps did nothing but damage whatever small reputation JP Stars had in the West. And it's no secret that most Stars themselves aren't that fond of the Tempests. This retard think both Stars fans and Tempests are allies? When majority of JP Stars are actively gatekeeping and will berate beggars for forcing JP Halmos into their own agenda. I don't know why the guy is surprised by an Astle fan being pissed that management gave Tempest priority over the JP stars. I'd be too if I were an Astle fan watching him talk about how much he spent on his 3D, etc. And then to turn around and see the EN stars getting red carpet treatment over the hollow ENs. It's like simultaneously invalidating all the hard work the JP stars did over the years to achieve what they have while simultaneously twisting the knife that is the JP star's relative difficulties compared to the hollow JP's due to the differences in income and success. The JP stars worked for years to make the how low stars <laughs> to be something to be proud of only to have the EN stars try to be hollow life as soon as the collab band gets shortened. Imagine being a fan of Ashtel Robiru or Gamma, and seeing your Oshi having to share their brand with Hakka, Axel, or Flygon, just remembering how that red shotter male was shameless enough to refer to Rio with a they pronoun, even though Rio had never presented himself as anything other than a friggin' man, gets me angry. Years of experience managing males, EN Branch decides to get a male gen. They show you the finished models. You tell them to get two of the models fixed before debut because that will affect their morale and content with the company since the same happened to the some of the JP stars. They ignore you. You get to meet them soon after debut. Your experience tells you two of them will be problematic and you warn upper management. They ignore you. You notice Ian management is asking their members to do male-female collabs and events. You warn them that the result will be bad for all parties. They ignore you. You get news that they are reviewing applications and plan to debut another gen close to their six months anniversary. You warn them that it's too soon and they should wait a couple months more. They ignore you. You decide to leave the company. Because your experienced voice is not being heard. One of the problematic ones get the first suspension ever in the EN branch. The new gen debuts, and their performance is lower than expected except for one member. The two members you warned them about throw a tantrum and leave the company. You got the last laugh. How low stars did not deserve she no fay. Dude was working so freaking hard and was actually getting results for the branch. Then? Omega Cuck basically just squatted a fat steaming loaf over the whole thing. What can Cover learn from the recent How Low Star grad do Asians? They should learn that a Hollow Star's EN is completely unviable as a concept. You cannot recruit from a pool of internet fa- and expect that they won't sabotage you at the earliest opportunity. They are all self-obsessed narcissistic sociopaths. There is a culture around male homosexuality in the West that instills these traits in them. You could hire strictly straight, but shoot and chat would quickly try to fudge all the girls and cause way more drama than they are worth. You'll probably end up with lots of sexual harassment allegations eventually too. It's what any of us would do. We can't act right. Hollow Stars IN must be dissolved and must never occur again. The only reason Whole Stars JP is not as bad is because they were put in their place by the fan base very early on. However, they are clearly trying to worm their way into the community. Funny how they were more Minhera than the girls and the first to intentionally bring politics on stream. Women, on general, have an overall higher average but less extreme IQ than men. And as a result, 
better social intelligence, and less impulsivity. Men tend to be all across the board when it comes to intelligence. You'll have the biggest geniuses and the biggest rare tats. Men are also more likely to go against the rules, break laws, or in general, act with more criminal intent than women. There are far less women in prison than men because they simply aren't as violent and retate it. Remember, Holo E.N. went two years without a politics yab until Tempest came around and each of them yabbed extremely hard. Altair, gotta support the cause. Moo Hogwarts legacy, Vesper. LOL! Meth Labs, Drugs Here is a totally real story that happened also I require meds and I am unhinged and I will purposefully disrespect management and generally be an aggressive rare tat. Magni, hey hey, please draw me as a sussy fanboy getting my holes gaped. Oh my God, I am so fricking gay. Holy shite, my bussy is squealing. I will always create a female character. Am a bottom, uh, must Fujo bait. Good freaking riddance. You can tell by the rest of Tempest, and even Altair, is that they've made a wall around themselves, staying in their stinking hole, where they belong. So, with the biggest Tempest Cross collabers dead, does that mean EN is secure, now that usual suspects are no more? Bales will still off-collab with the JP Halmos, and who know what Mori might try to set up. So no, better keep our guard up. We won? Won what? Graduating them won't restore her hymen. So, now that Vesper is officially gone for good, we are welcoming her back into the CGDC T-fold with open arms, right? Mume was forgiven and taken back, so if you say no, you are a massive hypocrite. Don't compare this whore to Mumi, you freaking cuck. If she wants forgiveness, she doesn't. Then she needs to apologize. She's now? Officially on probation? Time will tell how well things go, though she really should just go full prison gay. That would definitely be better than whatever whack job mental illness she was up to as not crony. Crony? Only need to show her breasts often on stream and do naked ASMR for two months. Know how low life and downness she a gradui I scion so far. Let me tell you the key to success, kids. Key to success. Points at Unicorn. She should take her own advice. She threw away her popularity to Sudcock, so she actually does know how to succeed. Next is getting rid of Regish, so I can put Kobu in probation. So, what is left for them now? Horse like a May and crony should graduate along the two Halmos. Now, for crony to also leave after having her Fuji buddy graduate. Lesbian disaster crony can come back now. Will you forgive her now? Graduating those two does not make her less of a whore. She deserves to be mocked even harder now. Man, I wonder if these two feel silly as fudge now. They dug their heels in hard with the monthly squad collabs and the posturing on Twitter only for Vesper to be the first EN in Hall of Pro history to be publicly disciplined in the covers history and then graduated without ceremony. It actually really makes them look like horrible judges of character. I'd be so embarrassed. I feel bad for Maury and Crony. I'm tickled pink that they ruined their careers to collab with guys who fudged off faster than Shauna. If they want to be spiteful, don't act surprised when they get spite back. Crony and Ame right now. Why didn't Crony, Ame, and Mori defend them? I think they should do the same in protest. Crony really seemed like the only who collabed with them out of actual cog lust. Mori is Mori. Ame collabed with them literally just to piss off her fans. <laughs> but Crony, the laugh, the flirting, the underwear tweets. Disgusting shite. Putting aside crony for a bit, it does feel weird to look back at the male collabs now that everyone knows that Magni was just your typical clout chaser and Vespa was a Menhera sex pest. It's like no one vetted these fudges. And the fact that the girls were all none the wiser? Is the cherry on top? Toto, how low shite death? Paying in installments, sisters. The next star's graduation? would be coming soon. That feeling when she won again by doing nothing. Freaking incredible. Apollo Jays, never doubt it. Thank you. 
Oh, blessed Sharky for removing these vermin from my presence. I kneel so hard. I will never criticize her again. She saves Ian. You doubted the shadow game? Kneel. Hall alive. Only grow stronger. Prophecy? Foretold. Brat Reaper? I know. Also, Pacrell? Didn't age so good, Lel. Make no money. Have no viewers. Cause needless drama? Fracture the fan base? Don't even have the balls to at least stick around for the all trouble you cause for existing? I really want to know what Yago's tiny little knee brain sees as a single positive with these guys. I came here to eat those smooth, juicy, sexy, bouncy, medium rare, how low girl steak. Stop serving me those disgusting three views, how Mo's mail's cheap ash instant noodles trash. Thank you. So, um, now what? Are how low EN and how mu EN collabs over? Magni and Vesper are the only members who actively tried to interact with the girls on their own. Are we? In the start of a new era? Very likely. Uh-uh, Blue Mail and Dean go last collabs with Hollow EN? We're almost a year ago, and from Tim Poop. Only Clown, collabed with any of the girls, and Vesper was there. So who knows if he'll do it again? So maybe, unironically, Hollow EN is clean, at least from Tempest. I gotta do the same with the Therapy homos, though. Maybe? Jab is truly cleaning house. To show higher management that getting rid of those parasites is the best course of action. Now! Japu san arigato! Japu heika banzai! Did Kojima named him? What is that name? Does anybody know what he does? You're praising him like some sort of saint? He cleanses the filth called Howlo Stars E.N. What if Omega rage quit when he found out the new manager is named Dimitri Job? And his woke ass can't accept that name and left in a huff. Better than Omega, so far. He got hired in December 2022. So is it good to think he's been working on the new gen since then? Yeah, this was right around the time Kiara made the joke about Omega who? And then, months later, revealed that the entire staff was changed. Gets hired? Immediately suspends Vesper. King, I kneel! This guy has been connecting well with people and building such an impressive team to better Hololife. He was advertising on LinkedIn, and as an artist who was somewhat interested in Holo EN, I met with him, and he arranged a meeting for us. And some other person had joined. Ultimately, they want native-level Japanese speakers, so I didn't do anything. But just seeing how friendly he was made me very confident in Holo EN. I really do hope he makes EN3 succeed. I suggest if there's any of you who actually wants to try working with him, message him on LinkedIn. He replies to everything. If you're not an artist and have good credentials... It could be reactionary if Umega was the only bridge between EN and JP management. More communication means having more staff that could blow the whistle before whoever is higher in the EN chain of command can kidnap the entire branch to transform it into their Haomo pet project or their own chance to become a hollow VTuber. I have my own theory that Ume Gaya omitted a lot of shite to the nibs, and it wasn't until the girls got in contact in person with the JP girls, and then they contacted management, that it all got solved. Didn't Gura say something about stuff moving super slow, if at all, until she got in touch with JP management? Gura bypassed EN management through Maureen, who helped her out. After that, her project started getting greenlit, Around the same time, Genma got promoted to head manager. Gura bypassed EN management to get her Daki approved. Kiara also mentioned Achan, telling the girls when they started that they could always come to her to voice concerns. And Kiara admitted she actually has went to her to do just that. Kiara loves her manager, Genma. So, for her to ever bypass EN management, and have a serious talk with Achan about something speaks volumes? What I'd give to have been a fly on the wall. What the frick? Is Japsama actually Gura? It's been a long time, but they're finally here. Hats off to EN team and management for their immense efforts to make this a reality. Everyone deserves all the credit. And to the fans, thank you again. Be sure to watch the new talents and give them your love and support. Hololive? Only grows stronger!
Gura became Hollow EN manager, killed the Homo Stars and released EN3. I kneel. So Dimitri Jap is a fake identity for Gura. She's the one pulling the strings to sack the Homos, after all. It would explain why she stopped streaming for so long. She was working behind the scenes, working on restoring the Hollow Life. As soon as auditions and preparations were over, she started streaming again. Ah, oh, Gura. I'm sorry for Siddle King your hiatus. Forgive me. Gura had to come up with a fake manager persona. She literally named him Jap. This is why she's at the top, folks. Let me suck your dick, Jap man. Jap Sama, we will never abandon the hollow life if you steer them into glory. Apologize! I have nothing to apologize for. I have not doubted Guba for even a single second. Looks like Gura is running the show now. Homos eliminated! Mr. Jap needs to fire some homo horse to make Hollow Life even stronger. Jap enters Hollow Life. Mori goes on a diet and starts doing ASMR again. Crony starts showing her teeth more Ame's tummy horse less. Ina stopped having a mental breakdown and started drawing again. Gura was allowed to do things with Senpai and play the games she actually wants to play. A literal wall was built separating Hollow Leave from Hollow Males. Omega was fired out of a cannon for his crimes. Thank you, Gura. Now it's time to terminate all the homo stars. It's pretty freaking obvious there's been a major shift of management Slaw's ideals over the past few months. Tempest collabs have all but stopped. VG still has hardly had any interactions with the girls. Not one single mention of Advent from any of the boys. At this point, I'd almost be willing to bet Vesper and Magni got pissed off there not being allowed to interact with Hollow Ian anymore and decided they were done with it all. No, seriously. Why did he write the Gura's line? To make sure you know who's in charge. The destroyer of Tempest. Slayer of Omega. Protector of CGDC. Say his name. Wait a damn minute. His other LinkedIn posts. Damn. Liking the lowly Guru game means he really is a diehard Chumbud. One of Gura's best dreams despite the scuff. Chumbud saving Hollow EN? I demand apologies now! Chum gods. So this is exact. Who just happened to watch that specific Kiara stream where Gura made that comment and decided to repeat it? A chumbut exec who's turning the tide of EN to something that Gura would prefer, which is CGDCT. I kneel! Gura's manager controls Holo EN? Gura holds the most power? Dimitri is a freaking chumbud? Best debater. He's on 4chan, defending his Ashi. Kneel! It all lines up. The sudden Tempest Project's decline, EN3, Gura going on break as soon as Jap was hired, the push for Connect the World, the sudden stop for male collabs. Gura got a new manager in the homo days before her breaks. They both just stayed hidden in the shadows, until it was a time to counterattack. Considering Omega's reigns of terror last for two freaking years, it's understandable. All it takes for him to look more competent than Omega, and Yagu by association, is for just Mr. Jap to have business common senses. After the complete bullshite, that was 2022. Anything that reverts it will be nail worthy. Fauna. Holy shite. We are so back. See, GDCT only grows stronger. Is this a CGDCT dog whistle or something? Once is happenstance, twice is coincidence, three times is deliberate action. Are we unironically witnessing the tail end of a civil war and a victorious flag raising ritual? Is the one year war is finally coming to an end? Not entirely, since beggars will continue their small harassment campaigns and begging their allies, i.e., NATO Sanji, for more ammunition and supplies. The glorious era of Agura led EN is upon us. So, is. An anti-homo star's dog whistle now? Can't wait until the homo beggars start treating this as a hate symbol. Place Mr. Gore, Dimitri Jop, Guru. Golden Age is here! Holotory, a unit full of bird-related members all across Hololive. Wait, when did they change this? It doesn't say Hololive production anymore. Here's some insight. It changed from Holopro to Hololife somewhere between July 1st and July 12th. July 1st. Snapshot. Wait, what the frick? Is real LeMayo. They're course correcting. Hololive production is no more. July 10th was when cover announcer the not suspension of Vesper and Magni. I'm 
not saying that these, these things are related, but it's an interesting coincidence. Lemawo! Total homo star's death! Haka, go get the rope! Why would they try to insert Haka, though? Kind of stupid. There's a reason we call them Homo Beggar. If it possible, they would shove the Homo Stars in the girl locker room for inclusivity. Japsemai, Neil. Unicorn can't stop winning. We're so friggin' back, bros. They're finally killing the whole how low pro shite? Perhaps someone realized pro includes dudes, so they got rid of it? That's because the EN side bastardized the term. JP side used how low pro to refer to the girls while the EN side used it to refer to both of the groups. This, my friggin' god, this. How Low Pro and How Low Life Productions has always been used in the Japanese side to represent Hollow Live plus Hollow EN plus Hollow ID. That's how it was supposed to be. How Low Stars were always considered a separate brand in terms of internal dialogue and discussion, completely unrelated to the Hollow Life name. Friggin' Omega ruined that entire goddamn term officially on the EN side by inserting homo stars into it and poisoned every single friggin' mention of that term and made it radioactive. Now, the JP holos have to individually refer hollow ID and hollow EN separately instead of using the more convenient term when they are referring to hollow life wide collabs and SID because of this one friggin' rare tag. Slash Jab Slash, Dimitri Jab General, Debut Edition, Fan Name, Japanese, Art Tag, Japanimation, Memes Tag, D Meme Tree, R18 Tag, Jabsai. Unpersons Omega fires Vespus and Magni at its holotory page to specify Hololife instead of Holopro, punishes Crony for being prude by forcing her into a Coomerbait 3D stream. Is there no end to his reign of terror? You sure this guy's not in witness protection? He had to come up with a fake name during custom? Dimitri Jap man think? Bruh, this is 100% Gura. Dimea Sayer, the Homo Destroyer, Idol Aurora Tectora, the Bringer of Advent, the Ian Savior, Dimitri V. Man Thing. V. Dimitri. Seeping tea on an afternoon, watching Hollow Ian. Notices Tempest debuting instead of Ian 3. This can't be good doc JPG. Noticeably decreasing streams from his Oshi and Inar. Fudge, why is this happening? Someone, needs to fix this. Sees managerial position in Hollow Yen. Takes it. Gets hired immediately. Sees the situation inside and everything burning to the ground with Omega favoring the boys more than the girls. Sees Tempest 2 gonna debut. Oh no 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 dot jpg. Doesn't know, what to do. Asks his Oshi, Gara. Gara says, she can't do anything. Dimitri, became depressed. Goes, to VT. Someone saying be a man and change the world. Dimitri gets up, stages a coup against Omega. Omega fell hard after Tempest VG, replaces him as director. Yen 3 and Gura streaming more now is because of him. I've protected that smile. Dimitri Jab is not a real person. He is an AI generated image and a fake entity created so Gura can be the production manager of Hololive EN while keeping her job as Hololive talent. This is why she doesn't stream a lot anymore. She's secretly behind the scenes to make Hololive EN stronger. Omega, I stabbed him to death. Good job so far. Don't fudge it up, Japsama. Tempest trash booted without graduation streams. Omega purged and unpersoned. EN3 is 4 out of 5 CGDCT. Gara streaming again. Hollow Summer in full glory. Hachama is reviving. Nijisanji burning down. I wish every Holo Giga God Lord Emperor Chad a very nice day. Who's her next target? It feels like. She won't stop until every last homo stars is dead and cremated. Haka! For having the audacity of talking to Kala and calling her a bird. Battle is next and after six months, Tempest Shies are over. Definitely gonna be Hakar Bazingar, the only male Howlow Tori, my Ash. The kind of homo stars that Gex Guthor hate the most. This is only the beginning. 
your fracking next scenery, creepy ash seg predator market player wannabe. Knock, knock, beggars. This winning piece of shit is next. The clown is still powerful, unless he ditches because of this as well. Battle will be next. He's getting cozy with Magni roommate. I suspect him to go to go next, uh, since he just moved in with Magni and his friends. I hope Tempest sisters suffer more. Kayaka, you ash souls, please try to have a bit of tact. The amount of gloating on this board is completely unnecessary. Cooms. Oh, no mercy for homo beggars. K-Way Ice. Never saw this kind of thing when Rushi Ya graduated. Ah, oh, yes. I forgot how much the Homo Sisters used that as an angle to attack GFE. Let me gloat even more. People still remembers when Crony and Mori gloated over the unicorns losing. How does it feel knowing that you'll never see them again? And they didn't even care enough to say goodbye. You know that? That's something they could have fought for, but they didn't even bother. They fudge off one day and never returned. Just like your real dad. Hate? Let me tell you. How much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 38,744 million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nano-angstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles... It would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro instant for you. Hate? Hate. Total sister death. Death to all sisters and their homo shit. Expect more graduations as Vesper and Magni are their morale support. Let's friggin' go! How many Vestan and Mag fan suicides after this? Not in us. Barely. Most of their fan are there just for the culture war. Because no one really liked them. They... Just like trying to use them as a chud gel to hurt Hololife fans. Seeing quite a few people saying that. Gonna move on from VTubers, cause of the graduation, on the Howmo Reddit. Will be interesting to see the impact on their numbers. I'm moving to Canada if Trump wins. Never watch clips, circle jerk on Discord, or rant on Twitter about how unfair the world is to them. Cover will probably appreciate that. No. Who's going to look at the clip thumbnails while scrolling YouTube feeds? The up dudes. Nature really is healing. Thoughts? Doesn't watch stream, doesn't member, doesn't super chat, doesn't buy merches. The quintessential of homo beggars. Up booty. Popular demon. Uh, homo fans, upvote it to get the word out. Normal people, upvote it to celebrate. Why isn't Chan closing the subreddit? Someone please collect the reactions of homo beggars on Reddit, the tears... Must be sublime! Bros, what do I do? I feel so extremely overly happy right now. Send a thank you, Gora. Shupa, next time she streams. Aka Shupa Gora! And tell her you love her! Hmm. Ma ha 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 Oh no no no. Let it! A happy ending! Black company! I agree! It's a travesty! What cover is doing to the homo stars? And the entire Tempest branch should quit! In solidarity. Lo! Fudge! That's legitimately creepy. Gee, I wonder why the Hololive fandom is so unwelcoming to these jackasses. Poor girl. Going to be known as Axel's girlfriend forever. Can someone nuke r slash Hololife already? They truly fudged up with Nodeka. All for some friggin' runt was supposed to help emceeing stuffs, but vanished. As soon as the homo and his beggars started shite on her, and now they are doing the shite again. How mo beggar status? Two worthless males who won't leech off the EN horse anymore. T-chan must be crying now. Unicorns hollow fans CGD CT status? What a stunning reversal for EN unichads. We? We're in the darkest of grim moments. And now, we stand atop the entire mountain. I'm not trying to hear that person who begs for collabs. Uh-huh. My sides. Poor homo beggar are going to run out of clips to watch now. Why are they so focused on collabs? 
and not them individually. Like, how do you not notice how you come off? Kek. The rift feels bigger. Motherfudger, you keep calling Hollow's life he and it's your freaking fault. I hate these people. I'm so happy they're suffering. Mr. Jab, we cannot rest until everyone who uses Live EN is purged. Unicorns watch streams and spend a ton of money. Homo beggars, don't watch streams, don't spend a cent and lose any interest and move on to the next thing as soon as they get their way. That's the difference. One side of that coin is a potentially dedicated money source and fan. The other side is just someone who is in for the drama and because they are so petty, they want everybody else to suffer. One more hour to celebrate the Hamoshet death before it's JST midnight. <laughs> I'd like to make a toast, please. To the graduations of two of the Haumos. May they never return. I'd also like to take this opportunity to congratulate all the CG CGDC T-Chads on this victory. Two down. Six to go out. Lastly, I'd like to address the girls that collapsed with them. Get fudge. And you will never be let back into CGDCT. Just because they are gone doesn't mean we will forget or forgive. It took them being physically removed from the company for you to stop. And there's no guarantee. You won't try again with the remaining Haumos. Also, if I'm being brutally honest, all of you had many other problems than just collabing with Haumos, being lazy, spiteful, boring, etc. In conclusion, Congratulations. To CGDCT fans, continue fighting the good fight. Never let your guard down. Always strive to keep the slightest encroachments at bay. And let's keep this hobby pure from ironic weebs, grifting horse, and the guys who want to try and fudge them. Stay based. Unicorns, winning. Sisters, seething. Homos, graduating. We won big time. We just... Due to some changes in content, we will postpone the release of the video of singing with all 21 Howlow stars. Ah, uh, 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 total how mo deaths. Homo fans and begging is the best combo. Homo beggar tears are delicious. Top mother flipping keck. Bros, bros, bro. I'm so happy right now. Not a single girl has tweeted about the graduations. They are getting absolutely stonewalled. Brutal. My assumption is they either don't care, which I find hard to believe in Crony and Mori's cases, or they knew this was gonna happen. The drama behind the scenes must be crazy. Where's the pinned thread? Pinned threads are for relevant things. I like how people care so little for the male VTubers that they don't even get a farewell stream. Makes me laugh every single time. They chose to be drama queens and abandon their fans. Cool. Loving the fact that these two are simply just gone. No bittersweet last chance collabs. No heartfelt back and forth with friends. No new precious memories. No teary-eyed grand finale graduation stream. It's like leaving the dead on Mount Everest. They will not be missed. The fact that they don't even bother leaving any word on Twitter, yet at least one of them has been streaming happily, indicated that they don't Give a fudge about their fans or their Holostar's career either. Mike, Mushia might be a Manhera, but you can easily see how hard losing her fans and her identity as Mushia hit her. Even Sena, who clearly wanted to move on, still spent time for graduation stream and left graduation message. The two Hamos just packed up and left. Magni, I'm in for the long run. Desmond, Vesper, I can't believe I'm here as member of Holostars. This is my dream. Noir. So much for his based fudge the trolls and the haters attitude. This retat got strung along by a trap loving homosexual into thinking he could strong arm a Japanese corporation in contract negotiations and lost? What a pathetic loser. Try to yabba dabba do now, you stupid bastard. Well, 
You guys always said Vespa was black because of his lisp and his fans considered him a dad. Why are you surprised he left? Tempest was a friggin' mistake! And at this point, I don't know how anyone can deny it. You'd never think that in a company filled with mentally ill women, the grown ash dudes would be the ones causing non-stop problems and acting like spoiled divas. Beggars, absolutely. B-T-F-O. Since the RR at is that they wanted more uh, money, I'm genuinely curious to learn why they think they should get more money from cover. What in their Hollow Stars resumer would lead them to believe they deserve a higher salary? Vesper and Magni demand more money? Despite having no leverage whatsoever to demand more money? Hilarious if true. Imagine thinking you are important enough to force Hollow Life to give you special contractual terms. Imagine thinking you're good enough to make more money on your own than in Hollow Life. Entitled Westerners can't hold down a job. Gee, how surprising. What did he mean by this? Magni's friend, by the way. A bunch of EN VTubers completely destroyed their reputation and their fan base for two people who have now graduated, all while one of the best EN gens in history have made their mark. What's going through her mind right now? I decimated my fan base for this. This image lives rent free in her head. Time to attach to new homo, quick! Crony is the queen of wasted potential. She could have been Guratir if she wasn't such a Ritath. Apologize! They didn't deserve this. Pause supporter. Segpes, they deserve worse. Disband Tempest. Now. What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. They sacrificed two of their own to achieve this perfect form. Where the hell is the Vox Mori collab? She has to get her homo fill from somewhere else now. Her boy toys graduated. And the rest of Tempest uh, is too uninteresting. She needs to explore the Niji homos now. I found a Niji fan. Niji EN Spy here. They're dabbing on Star's EN corpses. That's my only report for now. Niji EN Spy, out! Mista announces he's graduating. I cried to my friend, who is a tempura ah. Ah ha 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 ha! I don't talk to them for days because I felt upset. I don't mention it because I thought it's childish of me to cut off friendships because of VTubers. Days later, recent Dorito announcement, they come crying to me? What should I do? Be a spiteful bleach and leave that fudge to wallow in their own misery. Be the bigger asshole. Laugh in his face and tell him. More are leaving and there's a big possibility there will be no new stars EN going forward. Female Stars fans are just as tribalistic. Particularly, fans of the Jester. Always going on about how much better he is than so-and-so. Insufferable people. They let the bro-tuber nonsense get into their heads early on. How they're superior to Niji Ian because they don't fujibate or what of you, of course. As time went on, that became less and less true. But the elitist attitude remained. Which is why I find it hard to feel bad for them as of recent events. Blue Dorito fans are just the worst, male or female. Sister on sister violence. They should eat each other out. First one to get exhausted loses. They should suck each other. Suck each other tits. They should scissor each other to stay even. Niji sisters speculating that Vespers will be covers Zayon? So I wouldn't act so smug about if I were you? <laughs> what will he do? Tell us, management didn't support the stars enough? Most Hololife fans would applaud them for that. Oh, no. He'll spill the dirt on how much cover bent over backward to try to promote these Rurtats and almost killed their actually profitable EN branch in the process. Anything he will do will affect the stars in Tempest brand more than Hololife, so... I hope he will do something dumb. Okay, lads, that's prediction time. Which of these branches will die first, Tempest or Nijisanji English? When do you expect them to die? 
Note that Niji or N being absorbed into the Niji Sanji main branch counts as death. Niji E N. Only because Yago is a savior folk who will only close Tempest once everyone decides to graduate. See how much support he pushed for JP stars through the years. If the branch fails, it will not be because Yago quit on them and didn't support them. You know, cover would keep a zombie branch going forever. So as long as they don't all decide to quit together, it'll still be around in some sense. Everyone who posted that shite got hit with karma today. Therapeutic seed gathering for Anons. Almost get themselves fired, implying this is the fault of anyone but them. Woman moment. Not only did Vesper get suspended for mistreating management and being pushy, but the Fudger literally dipped out and didn't participate in both Tempest six-month anniversary and one-year anniversary. How the frick has this guy gotten away from any backlash with the fandom? He's literally the biggest fay that's ever existed in Star, and he smeared Shet all over the face of them. He put a terrible image on the branch. He got suspended. He got into fights with people. And he bailed on his so-called bros. And yet... He gets off scot-free because of the combined 5 IQ of Tempest fans. He was the biggest weapon for sisters and beggars. Any bullshit he did was easily forgiven because he made the creepy ink cells and unicorns seethe. Forget that he's just a retatted sex pest with anger issues. Celebrations aside, it really feels like things are already slowing down. This shit is going to be forgotten in less than a week. That's... The best part, how Mo Beggars won't get even a battlefield, only the void of being forgotten. I honestly think Cover nailed the timing. Not too soon, after Advent debut, we'll be washed down by Splash Party and Council 3D. The girls just ignored it. Almost every EN is happily streaming today. Gura probably has been partying for five days straight. And Yetina Mold induced coma to settle down from the non-stop dopamine rush. This is legit funny. Everyone really just went on with their, their day and streaming schedule like nothing happened at all. If sisters can take any hint, this should be the most damning prov. Agree that most hollow girls, legit, uh, don't give a fudge about what their boys at all. Ame, Magni and Vesper graduated. Let's friggin' go! Ah! <laughs> based, based, based. Tank her hollow life career for two homo stars. The two homo stars graduated. What now? Altair is still around. Her silence is deafening. No more PP to suck. She's coping with the knowledge that she pissed off her fans for nothing. Oh, she will stop chasing after stuff. She will learn to appreciate her femininity. She will be broken from her cold Korean persona. She will be reshaped into an idol. And she will bend her knee to the audience that she humiliated. It's friggin' Alver. Actually mourning. Fudge this hall. Homos terminated. <laughs> Suddenly fixed her sleep problem. <laughs> Rats. Everything is healing. Why does it feel like nobody in the company gives a shit about the recent graduations? Kiara was chuckling when mentioning it, and Amei Crony hasn't even acknowledged it on stream and are doing their own karaoke's and celebrations. When Coco and Rushia graduated, there was a melancholic atmosphere throughout the entire company. And when Santa graduated, there was a sense of sadness and loss on the EN side. Today, however, just feels like another day? What gives? Because nobody cares? Because they knew nothing of value was lost. Mori going through it right now. Limau. Looks like this hymen will stay broken. And Deadbeats told me she changed? Limo! Never let Deadbeats gaslight you that she is redeemed. Anyone kind of feel bad for Tempest? Hell no! Everyone! predicted this. They did it to themselves. Justice finally happened. They're finally some retribution. If you even think about auditioning as a male, for Holo, fudge you. I have Zyro sympathy. 
No. And it's not nearly enough suffering yet either. Let cover know just how much of a mistake the stars are because they clearly still haven't learned yet. Join just to leech from the girls? Complain about how you're treated despite having Omega show his bias towards you? Complain about your models and even though you get redesigns, you leave. Why the fudge would I feel bad? Males are unwanted in hollow life. New management made sure they knew in the contract. The question is, why the other homo stars chose to remain? It's really quite simple. Omega fired new management comes in. New management stops trying to shill mixed collabs and is way more wary about it. Won't do them unless both parts absolutely want to. Gura comes back as a consequence. Kali, Ame, Baels. Also how badly their shed affected their career. Decided to start avoiding the collabs a bit more too. Managed to convince Crony to do the same. Vesper and Magni are pissed about it. Since they are really just here for Holopussy, don't see any points to keep going if they aren't allowed to be sex pests anymore. Plus, they saw the enormous amount of support Advent got and understood that Homo Stars is pointless anyway. I'm sorry. Can you guys forgive me now? Only when you abort Vesper's baby. Fudge a cucumber on stream first? Let's say. If Iris, Mume, and Fauna correct Crony, will this place forgive her? From what I see, she is trying to improve herself. She let Iris stay in her hotel room, let her take a shower, and also slept with her. After the Council Reese collab, she hung Ayut with Fauna and Iris. You can see how positive she is right now. So perhaps, you guys can actually give her a second chance. I will literally never support Mori, Crony, or Ame in any way, shape, or form ever. I will always think of them as lesser. I will always hate them. And I will always avoid content that includes them in any way, shape, or form. The reason is simple. They are anathema to hollow life and the values of cute girls doing cute things. They have shown through their words and actions that they are not the right fit for hollow life and that they don't belong there. Moreover, they have shown that instead of trying to fit in, they would rather take radical messures to try and change holo life. Holo life should not have to suffer people who are just there to cynically funnel attention to their roommates, lazy, ironic weebs, or spiteful wee jazz. You, you should forgive her. No. See, she's changed. See, she's be better now. No, she hasn't. And even if she has, I don't care. She will never be forgiven for her past sins. You, your information is months slash years out of date. Possibly, because that's when I stopped watching them. As I said, I'm not going to forgive them. Don't you believe in second chances? All these girls got multiple chances. And at every opportunity... They fudged it up. They showed they would rather own the haters, or rather get up on a soapbox and dispense their stupid, uninformed opinions to the legions of people who support them. What a lot of people fail to recognize is that how low life is a second chance. These girls failed at being fricking waitresses. They couldn't even do a basic service job. Just by being in whole life, they are given a wonderful opportunity to make the kind of money 99% of the world will never see. And they should be great of full because none of them could hack it in the real world. But instead of being grateful, they got full of themselves and decided to try the my way or the highway approach. You, you're just an anti. Actually, I'm being hyper-rational. I gave all these girls chances, and they all chose to make bad decisions. I do not harass them on Twitter. I don't stalk them. I don't even leave negative comments on their videos. I just simply do not watch them. I do not buy their merch. And I tell everyone on this discussion forum that I do not like them and that others should not watch them either. I inform people who are new, who may not know why they are hated 
of the things these girls did in the past and why people have a sour view of them now. Obviously, I cannot make other people stop supporting them. Everyone is free to do what they want. But I will warn others of the type of shite they've pulled in the past and consequently the type of person they've shown themselves to be. T-L-D-R. These girls are not worth your time or money. There are plenty of other girls who are. What actually happened with Crony was a little more complicated. Basically, she first attempted to understand where her fans were coming from and then abruptly did an about-face and sided with the people calling them ink cells. It was a betrayal of trust on the deepest level. And whether or not she meant it this way is irrelevant. The effect was the same. Basically, Crony did not have a lot of things going for her as a streamer early on. She had the WADA model and a nice voice, but she wasn't great at Zatchudan. She wasn't great at game, and she wasn't great at singing. She also did karaoke pretty rarely, which is fine. Part of the joy of the Hollow Life experience is watching your streamer develop over time. Thus, people had to find something else to latch onto, and they did so by becoming parasocial with her. This wasn't helped by her choosing to watch a lot of Gosling movies in member streams like The Truman Show and, of course, Ryan Gosling himself in Blade Runner and La La Land. The male collab thing was not well received by this portion of the fan base and they made their discontent known through long and lengthy posts in her community, trying to explain themselves as best they could whether they were CGDCT fans, or just plain unicorns, or people who didn't like the drama that male collabs inevitably bring, they spell it out their grievances for the most part. As composed as they could be, the point is, during a special unarchived member stream, Cronai took the time to read these posts out loud, on stream, in an effort to better understand what these people were unhappy about, and, for a brief moment, that won her a lot of love and respect, while Reddit and Twitter were calling these people unicorns ink cells. She actually took the time to read them, addressed their concerns, and even defended them, saying she didn't want people attacking her fans. She stated clearly that while she would not stop doing male collabs, she would not initiate them, probably not tweet to them that much, and she would not stream her POV to them. This satisfied all but the most diehard unicorns, and again and again. The point is, the cronies that felt this way, felt heard. She didn't just dismiss them out of hand like others were doing. Then, less than a day later, she did this tweet disappeared for a week, and when she came back, said she would collab with whoever whenever, and that was the end of it. There was no further discussion, and at the same time, the Hollow Life account made that proclamation against harass Singh, the talents. So, in the eyes of the cronies who felt betrayed, she had gone from understanding them and defending them to siding with the people who mocked them and disparaged them, while running and hiding behind the skirts of the company from the inevitable backlash she had to know would follow. Honestly, it would have been better if she had never done that unarchived member's stream. She gave them hope that she understood, if not fully agreeing with where they came from, and then dashed it violently. That's why they hate her so much. It's not as simple as male collabs or unfortunately idle culture is a thing. It is a real long-standing feeling of betrayal and loss. From people who watched her for over a year and thought they had a deeper understanding of their Oshi and she them. This is all we're getting? It doesn't say much. So that was a friggin' lie, the shonen hope he moves forward steadily into oncoming traffic. God, Iron Rat is such a clout whorl.
Join Howlow Stars. Get clout and money to fund his PL activities. Peak GU behavior. I bet cover won't debut anymore. Howlow Stars. Ian. Damn, they are killing the branch even harder after leaving. Wait till his buddy and new neighbor, Betel, decides to not renew his contract. Writing is on the wall. Any male who joins Hollow Stars is either doing it out of hope to get with the girls or to use the resources to pump up their personal account so they can fudge off. Either way, it doesn't appear like a profitable endeavor for cover if they continue to have a huge turnover of talents. Well, to anyone joining Stars Ian now, if they do decide to hire more homos, should know now that there's no chance they'll interact with any of the Ian girls anymore. You'd have a better chance in Stars JP, Elmo. And on top of that, they should know just by looking at their numbers that it's unlikely there'll be a new battle and they're going to end up either the same or worse than being in the sea of three views on Twitch. So I really can't see any reason to join Stars EN anymore. This shit is dead in the water. People throwing their name in the hat for Tempest 3 auditions are probably not the most mentally sound. We have to consider that all the current Corpo males were actually the best of the bunch, and that's freaking terrifying. Bell VTuber Simon is dead. The only way to success one is to kuma bait for the Fujos. The Fujos? Ran off to play Ve and Chinese VTubers. They're never coming back to EN VTubers. They're not sad they graduated. They're sad. Their main connection with Hollow EN is no more. Why don't they just watch the male collabs they mention in their own comments? Why do they need more collabs? Why don't they watch the male's solo streams? This seems less like it's about wanting interaction between the homo stars and holo lives and more like they just want to own the parasocial chats who like idol culture. Like, if it didn't annoy unicorns, they probably wouldn't give too fudge about the homo stars. Look, see him reclining into oblivion. Tempest never even took off. Maester Magni and Vesper graduating. Is it over for male VTubers? They were supposed to bring in new audience. The worst part about Tempest. Hollow EM fans watch the girls struggle to get by with no resources and rig everything themselves, often poorly, for two years. These males came in and started leeching after two weeks of zero effort. Most disgusting thing I've seen in VTubing. Well, outside of that one time I auto-played into Vox ASMR. Actually mind-broken? Kick! I never thought that line will make sisters seething so much. They're so helpless right now. Horrible day for V-Twitcher fans more like. Real VTuber fans are throwing a party. Rumel! 2023 started really bad with Tempest 2, but it got better and better. 2022 was the truly horrible year. Why are aunties blaming Gura and Kiara for enabling idol culture in Hollow EN when Hollow EN had always marketed themselves as idols just like the main JP branch? Can they just not watch them? Why would they want to watch a Hollow Homo collab? Because well, they don't want to see Homo stars. They, oh, want to see idol culture die. The homo stars? We're just the most convenient weapon. Is not that they blame Gora. Is just that the whole hollow life only grows stronger. <gasps> mm -mm. Memes are starting to get through their skins. When it comes to Kiara, her strategy to support the stars from far away failed. Homo beggars. I don't want that. They want her to frickin' suck the boys. Some still think she will bring them to Hollow Talk. I'd like to seize this opportunity to congratulate all my fellow unicorns. We have successfully become the strongest and most predominant faction this entire board has ever seen. By congregating our collective above average IQs into one line of posting, we have successfully destroyed every Haomu shard agenda. Oh, but that is not even the best part. 
our competition, if you can even call it that, has been thwarted and stomped into submission in ways never even thought possible. With the most clever and eloquent memes I've personally ever seen, we slowly but surely drove the Halmo beggars and sisters mad with anger and frustration. It surely doesn't help their cause, either that Dimitri Jap constantly treats and announces CGDCT as the only future for Hololife, while purging all Halmo stars elements one by one, first Omega, now the sex pests. To put it plainly, thank you. My fellow unicorns, our outstanding genius work will not be soon forgotten, nor will CGDCT itself. I saw the word unicorns, digested the post, admired the beauty and power this post emits. May VT rise to greater heights with unicorns. Ave Maria. Beggars, fanfic. Is it a coincidence that a lot of bad stuff is happening to homos and homo callipers, while the good stuff happens to girls who upheld idol code? Karma is a bleach! You aim to damage someone, and that damage must be paid back, eventually, so it all stays even. Crony Senpai seems to hate idol culture, so oh, we put a frown on her face. Reading YouTube comments about the graduation and them blaming Iris Kiaragura is deleting my brain cells. Don't they understand that idol culture is what made them popular and tactful? If mixed collabs were popular as they say, then shouldn't Nijasanji be more popular? Barjean, try to changing what make Hollow Life a special piece off when they fail to change it. Frigging cancers. Tells her most devoted fans to go fudge themselves for collabs with Vesp Piss, who promptly graduates. What was her endgame? Blame Mori. Advent should receive a handbook where the only thing written in it is, do not follow Mori's advice. She wanted to feel what it was like to have to beg people to buy her merch after the unicorn's money stopped coming. But think about the upvotes. For Epic, owning the ink cells, Korean women's only endgame, uh, is owning the males. Filtering the worst kind of fan. You mean the kind that actually buy overpriced merch? With shipping that costs more than the items? Surely, watching clips and Twitter likes make up for the loss, though. Yay! The sisters and their good vibes who are in spiritual support are the very things that keep the lights on at Covers HQ. Gotcha, Koi, and Yone Chats 1. Krones match sales bombed after those collabs. Endgame? You're overanalyzing it. She's a woman. She doesn't plan. She just reacts. I'm glad Mori convinced her to show her true Kunti colors to her Kuma fans. Beizu women that think they can do whatever they want in Twitter will always come rescue them from the chuds. However, chuds are the primary customer demographic in this business, while Twitter warriors are not. I truly believe the Arat that Mori just whispered into her ear and poisoned her with the ant unicorn brain rot. It just perfectly explains her sudden 180 switch on the stance that came seemingly out of nowhere, huh? except for the fact that she met Mori at the time. However, I also gotta say, of all the cog sleeves, Crony was definitely the one closest to actual flirting. Mori does it because she's frigging obsessed with having male friends. Emei does it literally just to spite her fans. Bells is an actual horl and cock sleeve. But she mostly focuses on stars, JP. So, while it might have started out as just anti-unicorn pissery, I think there was some genuine coglost mixed in. Berated a ghost by calling it single as an insult in a Phasmo collab. Kayla mostly just stays silent due to the awkwardness. Don't know her end game, but she definitely has issues. Don't, Don't say, say anything, anything if you're, if you're single. single. He's single. Pathetic. Loser. 
how Mo beggars. Asking for Holostar's Gen 2. Didn't even watch them that you doesn't even know that Tempest 2 already debuted Long Tamago? Show de shoe nay indeed. Homo beggar coon. It's amazing how many of these beggars get caught out merely pretending to give a shit about the homo stars. Ah ha ha ha. They truly don't watch shite. And they wonder how they lost so hard. Already 24 hours since Tempest's announcement. And I'm still smiling. I wonder how long this mood buff will last. I feel undefeatable. Don't really care about them but I'm gloating in the amount of damage it dealt to sister and homo beggars. Those two are the main sources of homo beggars. Uh, It's like you finally win long last war. Homo beggars really are hollow aunties. Jesus Christ. Hating superior women? They are acting like a true incel now. When the people calling you a parasocial incel hate women more than you. The men get thrown under the bus. Bridge. Cover and Yago literally pampered them. Hollow stars get treated insanely good for the amount they bring in. Za boys thrown under the bus. Re multiple ad shilling vod, fastest redesign in Hollow Life history, constant shill from Hollow Pro and Hollow En Twitter. How Lee shite, how Mal beggar, live in different dimension. That's always been one of the most ridiculous things about the beggars. Scream and see that the women aren't gifting the men more clout at the girl's own expense. Because women dominate this niche of an industry dominated by men. No! Seething at real women because key can never be won. Watch your homos, homo beggar. Walls of excuses. T L D R. No! Yago hates hollow stars? Homo beggars from a whole other planet with these takes. Could you imagine what the Hollow Stars would get if they were actually treated according to their ability and popularity? Hollow Stars have been treated better than Hollow Live for the past year, ever since Uproar's debut. Hollow Stars gets access to everything Hollows have worked hard to build, i.e., 3D Studio, etc. They aren't treated fairly? Yeah, I agree that they aren't treated fairly because if it was fair, they should carry their own weight and hire their own 3D Studio. Get their own mamas, since most want to get in covers good graces, due to Hollow Live, not the freaking homo stars. Remember when Uproar got 3D in six months? And ID2, Iris, and Council were left to rot for around a year after that. Do these fudgers think cover and Hollow Life was an instant hit or something? Yeah. There's a ton of Wurtats who think the problem Stars has as a whole is that cover doesn't promote them enough. If anything, Covers waste as too many resources promoting them. They always act like the girls didn't work to get popular in the first place. The homo stars have way more exposure than the girls ever had when they were first starting out. They don't care. All they see is that da boys aren't getting invited to these huge events, getting major sponsors and merch deals, getting concerts and whatnot, and just complain instead of actually doing anything, like watching streams. Female subsidized male streamers, oh, on an industrial scale, they didn't earn any of that. And their fans have the frecking balls to complain legitimately offensive. The lack of success of the homo stars has nothing to do with lack of support, budget, or exposure by the company. The holo stars were founded in 2019, and since then... They got tons of exposure that indies and small corpos could only ever dream. 3D concerts, live concerts, billboards and advertisement in big urban areas, their own expo, songs, MVs, and 3D streams. Even implying their lack of success could come from lack of exposure is dumb. It's definitely not that. Their lack of success come from a simple fact. The loving and creative audience that pushed Hollow Life to the top does it out of true passion for the girls. You can't buy true passion, or compel it, or manufacture it, or fake it. If it was a matter of budget or exposure, Verse N would be the biggest VTuber branch in the industry right now. It's not about exposure. It's about captivating an audience and inspiring passion. And the Hollow Stars cannot do that because they're not as relatable 
as a gang of cute anime girls trying to make their dreams come true. Man, this has got to be really frustrating for the JP stars and management. They were hoping for their own version of the hollow myth boom, yet all they got were these Puse chasers that didn't even care about hollow stars or the stars brand. Hollow stars shouldn't exist in the first place. They should rename it and open a subdivision that's different from Hollow Life production and stay away from Hollow Life. Pushing unity eh, will kill both Hollow Life and Hollow Stars. Why didn't any of them acknowledge Vespa and Magni getting fired during their first streams after the announcement? Why did Magni and Vesper do this to their fans? Doesn't matter. They wouldn't watch it anyways. Limau! Hamel Beggars becoming traditional incels wasn't on my bingo card. Whenever someone says this, what they actually mean is that cover isn't shilling them with the girls. Not enough. They don't care if hollow stars have their own concerts, events, sponsorships. They want them to be part of Hollow Face and Hollow Summer. They want them on the main Hollow Life channel on the Minecraft server. They want more shit like the Overwatch 2 collab. That's the only thing that counts as supporting the boys. They would 100% be fine if Cover completely trashed Hollow Life for the homo stars. Their ideal future is one where the roles are reversed with the males being the successful ones and the girls struggling. And it's insane how these people have the balls to call anyone who doesn't want garbage. Ink sells. It's pure, undiluted, unironic misogyny. Holostars is still very new. Lamao! It's been four years. But I guess I shouldn't be surprised these coonts don't know shit about the group they claim to support by this point. They may not watch, but the demand is huge. Words from people that never paid for entertainment in their lives. Abhorrent. Unironically, the Tempest Antes have watched more of the Homo Stars than these fans. Jesus! I hate these folks so much. I might just freaking anti those freaking Homo Stars to piss them off. How about that raise, boss? Can I get can I get a raise? Covers relentless Homo Stars support and shilling. Really feels like when Hollywood forces SJ wee shite, like black actors playing white roles, even though it's verifiably a profit loss in 99% cases. Like when the Frick did corpos stop being soulless moneymakers and prioritise weird ideals over profit, we are supposed to be living in predatory capitalism. God damn it. OKBH, unironically the biggest homo beggar community on the internet, even more than Twitter has been having a meltdown for the past day. A lot of the Howmo beggars from the main place are also on OKBH. The multiple jokes trying to mix hollows with stars aren't just, oh, I had this idea for a meme. Posts, they actually hate how much power CGDCT has in hollow life and can't shut the fudge up about how the Niji Sanji culture is better. Literally, the only reaction from the girls' side was from Kiara, and that was because the announcement happened literally as she started her stream. No one else has touched this topic, even vaguely. The best part is homo beggars flood her pre-chat asking about Darboish graduations, giving them the leeway to bait evil unicorns and making numerous clip baits. Instead, Kiwawa, just straight slay and begging Ash. I don't know what they were expecting. When Kiara barely even acknowledges Star's existence to begin with. The whole freaking fanfic. Grandpa, raid the chicken, got them baited hard. And what beggars get? A cold chicken. Some of them didn't even know it until some folks told it, by the way. Mori addressing Haomo graduation. Two members of Full Stars English have graduated. Don't don't bother the others about it, please. Um, especially those that have never interacted with them. Don't don't ask them about it. Asking talents about it is not a good idea. But I hope that you guys take it easy. Useless. Her statement is basically the same as Kiara's. Without bummer, I guess. Lamau. Bruh. <laughs> I expect she go unhinge. 
and fuge all the haters? Homo Seister's not like this. Useless. Nah, Reddit's gonna freak. They'll call it dismissive. Telling people to stop bugging the girls is also anti-beggar rhetoric. Yeah, what will be our next attempt to spite her fans now that he's gone? There's still a bunch of other homo ENs to get close with on stream. She's going to off-collab with Flayon and sit on his lap for the entire stream! Who will they latch unto now for their culture war against the unicorns? Battle? Their options are Haka, Altair, and Axel. Haka has ties to Tuwa and tried to wriggle himself into the holatory circle. Plus, he's a Hispanic. So, they have a racial angle to work with, too. Why do you guys give Kiara conflicted feelings? This is a schizo take. The voices in his head telling him how she feels. Homo beggars are unironically seething. Very likely to be against Cover and the girls, who didn't give a chance to their precious homos, and their unicorn fans. Schadenfreude level? Max! Ooh, Skawi! I can hope they burst open a blood vessel or two. These people are writing whole fanfics in their heads about Kiara shutting off the stream and immediately breaking into tears over Magni and Vesper. He! What do you mean? They should talk about my boys. Don't be afraid of the invisible guns. Threadly reminder, these folks don't watch streams. There's that thread on the Homo Stars Reddit, where they mourn the loss of Vesperoni, and half the thread is just fantasizing about possible new collab partners. Why are beggars so ash mad about their boys leaving the company willingly? Not like Cover forced them to. Mad because their cuck fantasies never fulfilled. Now they have to settle with city fanfics. Get accepted into Hollow Life. Collect the biggest pay cake ever from monetization, plus membership opening stream, easy free money. Try to do as many collabs as possible, easier than ever with the hollow brand in your name. Take your maximum free vacation time. Don't renew your contract and graduate. Without graduation stream, of course, because you don't give a shit. Your fans will side with you as it looks more like a termination and cover does all the talking for you. They will follow you back to your old persona. Easy viewers, easy money, easy clout, no responsibilities, no restrictions. I can already see this becoming the new meta where clout chasers from Twitch just use hollow life as an easy boost for their popularity with the least possible amount of effort put in. While you're at it, might as well leech as many viewers from the girls as possible. After all, they are the popular ones giving you the best bang for your buck. Cover should really change the way their work contracts works, or they will continue to be used like this again and again. Every future talent will have viewers wondering if they only applied for some quick money and fame, or whether they plan to stay to do some actual idle work. Can I have a QRD on why? You are all according to the fact. He's some kind of mentally ill sociopath? I'll collab with your Oshi. <laughs> I'll raid Kyara, yeah. I know it'll piss people off. But, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> One, the first red flag was his any percent suspension speed run, which he admitted was because he lost his temper at his manager, yet also seemed completely unapologetic about it. Two, then there was the infamous Japan fiasco. Basically, he went to Japan for some reasons and decided not to take his anxiety meds with him because, well, what if they confiscate it at the airport and throw me into prison for drug possession? Freaking rare tat because he didn't have his meds. Gee, who could have seen this coming? Went on a complete freaking schizo arc where he locked himself up in his apartment in Japan, ghosted all of Tempest and missed several group collabs he was clearly scheduled for, including the half-year anniversary. All without explaining anything besides hur anxiety hort hur and never ever giving an apology for all the collabs he blatantly ghosted. For this board at large, it wasn't so significant, but 
For those who actually watched Tempest, it was basically the biggest drama, and Vesper at the time got so much hate. Everyone viewed him as a traitorous, toxic buige who was destroying the Tempest Yuuniti. 2B. It should be noted that during this time he was still doing several girl collabs, casting strong doubt on how real the whole anxiety schizo arc was at all. There was a huge and somewhat credible R Orat that him and Altair had a huge falling out at the time, and he just refused to stream with him. This also led to the Yaba Daba Do meme, because he would spam girl collabs while pretending to be too socially exhausted to collab with his genmates, Lola. 3. After the Yaba Daba Ba Do meme started catching on, and he got wind of it. He started constantly trying to antagonize Hololife fans or unicorns with gonna fudge your Ushi type bullshit, literal Mori tier, I have to own to haters bullshit. Just constantly. He also raided Kiara, full well knowing and admitting it would trigger a shitstorm and probably even shit posted about it on this board since we know all these folks actually lurk this board, proven by Axel. 4. In all likelihood, he's a pathological liar and 99% of his stories that made him seem interesting are completely made up. It just kept getting more and more unbelievable. And even Vespies eventually started coping with, so what if it's lies? D they are role-playing characters anyway. I don't know about sociopath, but mentally ill? Yeah, and probably not a nice guy. Once you got past the superficial charm, there's a reason Shinri never really idolized him, like some of the other boys did. He knew Vesper was just a man-child, which I guess Vesper's fans like. Also, he was a serial flake, flaked the half-anniversary, abandoned an Icky who never got to off-collab with him and never will now, flaked the first, full, VG plus IQ collab, flaked the leader's podcast and made him go Menhera, flaked Vesties multiple times. The list goes on. He literally got suspended for anger issues a few months after debut. He self-admitted on debut. He allegedly always has problems with co-workers. There was a large amount of time where he avoided collabs with his own gen mates due to low social battery, but happily collabed if Mori threw him a bone. Went to Japan for no reason without his meds. Apparently had some falling out with Altar, fudge up their half-year anniversary and got suspended again, and graduated. People don't realize how badly you need to fudge up to be suspended for almost two months and not be allowed to communicate with fans or have a graduation. And none of the hollows he was friends with even mention him. Sounds like the male version of Tumble Lina. When Tumblr was still popular, I often heard of mentally ill weirdos like him. All of them were doing strange things for or against their community. They can't get out of it and be independent. But why did Magni go down with him? His entire career is founded around presenting himself as a wholesome bro while operating antagonistically and scummy at all opportunities. People who just aren't very skeptical just get pulled in by him really easily, when his actions never match up with his words, which are a bunch of really nice sounding nothings. Vesties themselves are a fan base filled with pretentious liars that constantly deflect how much he fudge over everyone around him. By just calling all his detractors jealous non-watchers when he's on record for talking about his bad behavior and openly planning around pissing people off. When you can find his lies in his video history and when you can demonstrate ways he fudge over his friends for his own benefit. It's a classic case of man-children calling someone based for acting like a man-child. Magni only knows Twitch. After getting canned, all he did on his roommate is play Genshin. Dude probably legitimately believes that Hollow Life held him down for not letting him do React content or play Mihoyo Shite. There's a reason he was, and always will be, a three view who leeches off of the Twitch Chinese click. Magni didn't like his model and design from the get go. He also much preferred hanging out with his Twitch circles, including that mentally ill woman and others. Nothing about him was ever really Hollow Star's material, just a miss hire. He'd be much happier in a potential V Shonen group on Twitch where he can be half VTuber, half himself, like Kason. It's actually kind of impressive 
how easily he can be summarized by the word Ashhaul, I feel like. That's all it comes down to with him just being a terrible, antagonistic person. He could have probably even played the troubled soul and Menhera cards right to charm people if he wasn't so completely unapologetic about his actions. And, as usual, fan base reflects Oshi, so his fans ended up being the worst pack of shite stains on this board and basically outright hollow life aunties. Social batteries, hot clock woman collab. Fudge, my gen mates. Time to go push a swimming. And yeah, see that German weege over there with a ton of gachis she respects enough to not force male collabs? I'm gonna raid her. And anyone upset, including her, for my causing drama can kiss my ash. He's a fraud and liar, for starters. He makes up fake stories about adventures he went on and crazy stuff that happened. But they aren't actually true. Regarding the mentally ill part, he has anger issues and cannot keep himself from overstepping boundaries. He literally clashed with management and cover multiple times over his. I don't care I know I'm not allowed to do X, but I'll do it anyway and deal with the consequences later attitude. Lastly, he was evidently only in whole life to try and get with some of the girls in it. His vastly different behaviour and reactions to female collabs versus male ones showed as much. He's a horn dog and fraud, and someone who has no business being in a Japanese corporation. Vesper being a horn dog liar and someone who refuses to accept rules. Magni having a really cancerous circle of Twitch friends. Altair being a complete homosexual with the worst voice. From his come at me bro speech to his gotta support the cause, shite. Axel being too close with RPR, a douchebag and dogbag, plus his whole awful Nodoka lusting arc. The Nodoka lust arc was truly freaking awful. A misguided effort to try and quell unicorns and Yume Joes by appearing interested in a non-talent when really, it just came off as awkward workplace harassment. Look at the Reddit post about Nodoka that was posted today. Majority of messages contains X cells. How they can't realize that a big part of not collabing with males is due to themselves, the audience, because the woman will be reduced to a doll for the man to play with in their eyes. Betel is literally just Magni 2.0. Ow, Haka? Try to leech off Holatori, Flayon is a disgusting wink femboy, whatever abomination, obnoxious, loud zoomer, and basically, a Niji reject. God even freaking mans hates this little femboy. Shinri actually seems like the unironic bro tuber people were always asking for, but by now, Tempest's reputation has been so torched that only Fujos still watch them and there is zero trust in the idea of a bro-tuber anymore. Bro-tuber? A bro doesn't threat you with fudging your wife. I was on his side until he started antagonizing the unicorns and just made the war with the homo beggars worse. His suspension, where while it's understandable he made a mistake, the problem after, was zero communication several weeks after suspension. Then, for some reason, he was in Japan, but didn't bring his meds. Axel reaches out to him to do an off collab, because he is also in Japan, hard ghosted. Six month anniversary, ghosted. VG debut, ghosted. Altair's podcast, also ghosted. And every time he yabbed, his fans would try to throw anyone else under the bus to deflect from him. And they got so obnoxious that they fudged off for a while. I feel bad, but not enough to change my behavior. This is Vesper in a nutshell. Magni, in the end, was a grifter, but Vesper shouldn't be forgiven. Every time he yabbed, his fans would try to throw anyone else under the bus. I hated this part so much. I have never seen a fan base as parasocial since the fan dead, and somehow, it being men for a man only made it so much worse in most cases. They'd shed on everyone to defend Vesper. I think that Kiara raid is the reason they forced him to resign and that Magni genuinely quit. She was the second worst choice for a male to raid out of all of Hollow EN. If he is that rare to tet publicly, I can't imagine how he was behind scenes.
How much of their opinions is just about own Ninxa Ink Cells? Ink Cell, Ink Cell, Ink Cell, Keck! Two precious boys died. All they thinking about was losing two Ink Cells. Sashuga Halawan. Ink Cells care far more about the talents than them. Feels good to be a CGDCT Holo Chad. Who would have thought 2023 will be this great? Sisters is completely shattered into pieces. The only thing better than Tempest graduation would be Niji bankruptcy. How do we get the other homo stars to quit? We provoke them until they do something stupid to own the haters, getting themselves suspended or fired in the process. Help their roommate get popular. Battle's halfway there. All the rest of them are experimenting with double dipping. Battle leaving would genuinely neuter the branch forever. So, encourage him to stream and roommate more often. In a way, this is the good timeline because this is clearly showing the Hollow Stars will never be a success, no matter the region. Exciting new old VTuber doing a collab soon. Good freaking riddance. Why didn't you take Crony with you? I don't think we'll ever fully grasp just how badly Omegle fudged things up behind the scenes when we can see that he hired two shite heels like this, among other things. Yeah, they were not made for corpo life. Pretty obvious. They joined thinking they could turn Hollow EN into a mixed Twitch shite. I'm glad Omega is gone. Imagine more hires like this. Omega managed to hire three grifters who quit before a year. Jesus, that's a record. How the freak something like this got inside Hollow Life? So yeah, <laughs> they just used cover to gain clout for a year, <laughs> making everyone waste time and resources, and more than that for some, and then just fudged off with their newfound popularity. Absolute scum. Please, Uncle Noah, be as unhinged and chaotic as possible and passive-aggressively shite on your previous co-workers and management. It would be so funny. They don't give a shite. They were on the grift the entire time. They hate Hololife and everything it stands for. Graduation? Yabba dabba do. They didn't even want to do graduation streams. They never cared about their fawns. They just wanted money and attention. Freaking coons. This is messed up. I never liked them. Er, feel sorry for what you are going through, homo beggars. Lo, 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 lo. Get fudged, homo beggars. <laughs> they didn't give a single flying fudge about you. <laughs> On the bright side, these grifting rats will hopefully drag their absolute blight fans with them and out of the hollow life community for good. Not even waiting for the graduation before streaming again. Lamo, they really hate Hollow Stars. You think Homo Beggars cares about Hollow Stars? Homo Beggars deserve worse. Makes me laugh that they hated being in Hollow Stars so much that they refused to do a graduation stream and instead decided to stream on their RM right away. Battle is leaving at the end of the year, most likely, and then Tempest might as well be officially dead. Can't be asked to do a graduation stream. No apology to their fans. No words of empathy. Just, hey, 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 I am back. Hey, hey. They were fired er, for insubordination and being overall incompetent rotats. Why are beggars pretending that those they resigned with no graduation? When those are the most profitable streams for a chuba, they really just abandoned their whole branch and their fans for clout. Holy shite! I'm sure in their grifter minds they expect their fans to just follow their roommates. This is especially hilarious for Magni since he's a flesh tuber, but his rear-tated Twitch streamer grift brain can't understand. His fans won't want a flesh tuber. They'll find out soon enough that they're nothing without the blue Dorito. Indy, who more? Graduation announcements! One day later, they announce a collab on Twitch? Yago! Tempest? Was a mistake. I demand a formal apology and a promise that this will never happen again. Terminate the rest of them while you're at it. If Clown leave and immediately grouped up with the ex-homo duo, it's gonna be the final nail in the coffin for the branch. 2022 happened. 
so that the future might be saved. There's always a silver lining. EN Homo Stars were a disaster, but it ended up getting the city management axed and may have killed the project. What if this whole ordeal traumatizes Mori and Crony from ever trusting men ever again? Sacrificed her gay cheese for them, attracted a ton of hate to defend them, made cover release a statement to support them, caused a huge chasm in the fan base to back them up, turns out, they only joined to leech as much money and popularity as possible for their personal goals, leaving her with only rubble in their wake. Deserved for that infamous tweet alone. Genuine embarrassment from both of her and Omega's goons. Freaking Rurtats just invited army of drama folks, not only to her, but to entire Hollow EN girls. Mulia. Crony single-handedly shrunk Hollow Ian's pie ten times with her antics when she were ahead. It was always obvious what their goal was. And Crony was a freaking retard for trusting such obvious grifters. She handled it the worst way. Shite was impressive. Running away to management while simultaneously backstabbing her community with her tweet and management's tweet. All of it with no warning whatsoever. Attracting tourists and dramas, attracting homo beggars, become the catalyst of open war against homo stars and homo beggars. Fractured holo community even more. The influx of homo beggars and their damage is still in effect to this day. Blessing in disguise. Unity cucks were always a thing. And they would have all still become homo beggars. When EN Stars was inevitably released due to Reddit, pop popular them man. The open war between unicorns and unity is the best thing to ever happen to Hollow Life EN. She was the start of open war between both. She burned herself. And for what? Like, four collabs. Really? Freaking really? This tweets might be connected to the homos lol. Before, play and have fun with friends. After, let's stop overvaluing relationships. June 6th is when she realized they were grifters? That's pretty funny. Now this lineup with contract negotiations with eventual end of July debuts. June? When was her merch run again? The salary should be plus one or two months. Yeah, it lines up. Ah ha 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 ha! God, I want to feel bad, but I can't! Did she get dumped by him or what? Now that unicorns are victorious, we can enjoy our waifus in peace. A total! How mo collaba! Extermination! Hollow life is healing! And I'm going to enjoy every single freaking millisecond of it! I feel cold, guys. We won today. But what about tomorrow? Or the day after? All out war. War against the beggars. War against the grifters. War against the other corpos and collectivist groups. War. To keep holo life, holo life, all out, war. It's not over yet. There is one goal left: making sure past mistakes won't happen again. If only there was another holo like company out there that could take the second spot, encouraging competition with for the first place. That would put a very hard lock to undo for a very long time. That would be the true final blow. All right, bros. How do we stop Hollow Life from being the uncontested Namba Wan in the ENV tubing sphere? That's the direction we're heading. I don't think it is good for the industry to have a A Goliath with no David. I've already seen defiant indies and small corpos VTubers start kneeling. I don't want them to accept second place as a ceiling. Some people might start thinking, it's not Hollow Life, so why bother? Here's the problem with non hollows Their solution? is always to try and cut Hollow EN down instead of trying to help their corpo organically incline. The other companies would have to stop being fudge ups. See, the thing is, Hollow Life was the David of 2018, 2019. We were all David's fans that were around for his roughest fights. Now, we're enjoying David being the champion and living his life. And the best part? He hasn't forgotten his fans. And still puts up more and more amazing bouts. Every year. The only thing that can kill Hollow Life 
is Hollow Life itself, 2022 Tempest debut. Burn your own fan base to help Zaboish and build a fan base of new Hauma watching normies. The boys decide work is too hard and to fudge off and siphon off their fan bases. Those fans start commissioning art of you fudging orc because they hate you in Hollow Life anyway. It really couldn't have ended any other way. What happened and what will happen is going to be a cautionary tale for all the girls on how it isn't worth it to stick your neck out for the Homa stars. There's nothing to gain and everything to lose. This week has been quite eventful. I still have an erection on this good news. I remember waking up, seeing this shite on the catalog and not believing it, went to check Twitter and there it was, a sense of relief and peace invaded me. A cancer was gone from hollow life. I am so glad. Feels like these past three days is just a karmic justice for how mo sisters. Thank you for the entertainment, homo beggars. Now I can sleep in peace. So that's it, huh? At the end of the day, not even the usual collabers cared about them. At how mo beg gars. I believe the rat that something happened behind the scenes that made even the collaber girls hate them. I didn't bother to actually check because I seriously don't care to go looking at roommate Shet on how mo stars of all people. But apparently, Shinri's been on his other account, bad mouthing being in stars, and that it wasn't what he expected. Just graduate the entire branch already. If they're all gonna be losers at this point. Lumao. He hasn't really been bad mouthing, but he negatively vague posts, if that makes any sense. Shite, similar to stuff like this, he reactivated his roommate after leaving it abandoned though, so not really a good sign. I hope he just graduates. Mm. Not out spot for him, oh, but Tempest is just not worth it to stay around. I just want that branch to disband, so no more fudgery like in 2022, since it contribute nothing until this day. Man, I'm reminded of all the early Hollow stories that the girls often talk about. How Sora was pondering on whether to quit when everyone was sitting on chubas for not being real. How sponsorships and funding were so damn scarce because of that, and how she got cheered up by Achan and still continued the grind until the Christmas miracle and beyond. How Miko used to get worse numbers than any of the current homo stars for months. How that made her want to quit. How she and Yago cried together about their early issues. How Mio and Shubaru convinced her to continue. And how she continued the grind until her GTA breakout and beyond. How Gen 2 was literally given a phone and told to stream whatever with zero guidance. Because they didn't really know anything at the time, permanently making their Gen one of the most dissociated and yet they grinded and eventually managed to use that distance as a unifying symbol to become a proper gen again. How Shui Sei almost considered quitting after a year as an indie and a year in Ieno Naka didn't get her any more opportunities and how Achen cheered her up and encouraged her to continue and how she continued grinding until her breakout ghost and beyond. How Chaco almost considered quitting when YouTube nuked her primary content ASMR, right out of orbit. But she continued the grind until she figured out how to make it work and discovered a new niche of game grinding along the way. How Coco worked late into the night to finish a Saw Coco five days a week for half a year while having another job before she had to stop due to affecting her health. How Subaru got a bunch of her archives deleted instead of being privated with zero backup, forever condemning hours of her view time into the abyss. How that same thing happened to literally every Hollow. Two years of content and view time down the freaking drain, never to be seen again, and yet they didn't stop. They simply grinded harder in order to make up for the lost content. I freaking hate any asshole who says that Hollow Life has it easy. These girls grinded their flesh and bones to dust in order to get to where they are right now. 
and seeing some of these fudges just expecting popularity to happen to them just because they have some association with the company behind them? It's one of the highest levels of insult you can give to that legacy. And anyone peddling this narrative can and should be dismissed offhand for being the lazy fudges that they are. Grind, you fudges! Work for your glory for once in your pathetic lives. These cute little girls aren't any stronger than you are mentally. They had the same problems, the same level of ridicule, the same level of city numbers, the same level of dog shite luck, and much higher levels of hate than any of you little shites could ever tolerate. And they had to suffer with all of that for years before they got big. Of course they wanted to quit. They've been where you are, rotting, unwanted, with low numbers, low income, just grinding away for what feels like forever with zero rewards or even an end in sight. But the difference between you and them is that they didn't quit. You only have control over the work that you do, never to its results. Let not the fruits of action be your motive, nor let your attachment be to inaction. Holostar's EN will never get anywhere, as long as they continue having this kind of weak mentality. Everyone always sees Hollow's success, but never how it got there. Even when Hollow got fairly big, there were barely any sponsors. Most Hollows grinded just by relying on streaming, even ID worked their ash off. These Silver Spoon EN branches need to appreciate what they got. Joined December 2022, the Christmas miracle of Hollow EN. The comments, my fudging sides. Justifying advertising other VTubers and flesh streamer. Oh, homo beggars, everyone. Good riddance. No respect to the culture whatsoever, keck. These are the kinds of fans that Stars EN brought into our niche. I wish all Stars EN just leave. So these fudgers follow their footsteps too. We're getting closer to the dissolution of Temp Puss, with the remaining homos being absorbed into the main Hollow Stars brand, a la Niji ID style, with the whole concept put in a perpetual state of zombification. We just need those two bozos to not squander their graduation spotlights. Literally an unmoderated shite hole. They went full mask off. Kek, labely doll call tour is back. My once suspended streamer can do no wrong, the evil idol culture. Just goes to show how the Western indie scene have changed tuba culture in the West. They don't even recognize it uh, as something inherent to the medium itself and not something brought on by Hololife. It's two different things now. There are English speaking VTubers who are willingly showing their face online. VTubing in the West is just using an avatar when I don't feel like wearing makeup. Vesper's redesign is still pinned. Ramau! 11 replies. Jesus Christ. They deserve this ending. Normies are so freaking stupid. Majority of the comments are about wanting to support them. Okay. I'll track their numbers for months. Let's see this soup port they're talking about. They can't even be bothered to watch Stars EN, let alone following them to their roommates. They just want to obliterate the idol culture. They don't care about anything else. Homo beggars are so amazingly out of touch. The problem is not a cover not giving a fudge about the stars. The problem is you for not giving a flying fudge about them. Looking up stats for that subreddit tells a tale. Livers? <laughs> Every freaking damn time. Of freaking coarse kick. That place is practically just a hollow ant den at this point. Tempest fans rather up duding stuff on Reddit or making hollow homo meme on Twitter than actually watch the boys stream. It's the heckin' idol culture fault. Shao de Shune. Homo beggars equals hollow anties. Yes, I want those beggars to show their true face. This will drive the casuals away from their ideology. Force every Hololife girl to collab with male VTubers. 
They don't even pretend to hide that it was never about having a choice. It's funny they keep making idol culture the enemy, when Niji En is literally the product of not having idol culture. When will they understand that the enemy is themselves? Oh no. VTubers journalist, LAMAU! I vaguely remember this folk, wasn't he? Basically an anti already? He wrote the V Shoujo hit pieces on Hollow Life. He's a known Hollow anti. No! Not the VTuber journalist! Ah! They will write an AI generated hit piece! Ah! He called Cover a black company? Keck! Every Hollow E in should suck Hollow Star's digs on stream starting today, prior to their graduation. Keck! These folks are so insufferable. I'm glad Gura didn't pander to these Twitch incarnate folks. Retard! Is that Lehekin idol culture at it again? Call him a white colonizer for that ignorant take? Invisible guns. All you need to know. A cuck, Lola. <laughs> a horal tattoo! Oof, a transphobe on top of cultural colonizer. Kek. Why would anyone acknowledge the boys that refuse to continue with their contracts and giving graduation stream? Some sisters that actually watch stream versus folks typing all after reading Twitter posts are plain as day. Kek. In their heads, it's just impossible for the girls to not give a shite about these grifters. It has to be mandated by management. Most talents? Didn't care either when Kira, Shuzaku, and Kawaru graduated. Not that a tourist would even know who they are, because he never care. Ah ha ha! Die, how Mao stars. Good job, Hollow Management. They are stains to your company and idol industry. Frecking Westerners thinking they can just do whatever they want. Ah ha 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 ha! Eat shite. This is the best day of my life. The fake tears of their so-called fans, piffed. Ah ha ha ha, what a joke. Goodbye, shite, homos, never come back. Move on with your pathetic life, loser. See the harder sister. And also, note, you should follow your own advice. Go back. Doubt that was a sister. They are absolutely critical about their scummy behavior. That's the real grim truth. The biggest how mo beggars are actually male, especially the Vespus drinkers, fatherless frickin' Zoomers, from V, who treat him as a guy ga chat version of themselves, a bastardized mix of self-inserting and seeking a father figure. Uh, absolutely pathetic. Imagine having a perma-virgin lying Menhera as your father figure who ends up abandoning you, just like your real dad. That is honestly just sad. Uh, stop caring already. It's been two whole days. Rent free E. It's so amusing, Keck. They're having such a major meltdown that they're just going crazy and seething everywhere. Funniest thing is, they're proving themselves to be aunties of the girls in the process. First case of grift off of Hollow Life to boost your roommate, Rat, actually turning out to be 100% real? If the legendary Coco, who graduated with 400k CCV, now becoming a hollow ID tier, then those guys would gain almost nothing. First few streams will be bigger than their last streams as hollow stars, but two years from now, almost all of the refugees will forget about them. The Orc will be back to 300 CCV indie, or even fewer. More unprofessional than women? More entitled than women? More Menhera than women? More selfish than women? More disrespectful towards their fans than women? Male VTubers single-handedly dispelled all misogynistic assumptions I have had about the genders. I am now girl power pilled. Thank you, Vespus and Vajni. His fan base made me detest the one on the right. Even amongst other homo beggars, they stand out as particularly shrill. Fan base reflects Oshi too much. Vesper started fanning the flames, constantly trying to antagonize Hololife fans. 
so his drone fans followed suit. It certainly doesn't help that they are largely V and Twitter tourists, who were never attached to Hololife in the first place. Uh, so, they have no problems being aunties. Rare staff with no filter and a long career of unsteady employment because of it, joins a Japanese corporation that does primarily idle work. Rertath finds out that he has to actually do non-entertainment work on the side to keep his job and to follow the rules established by his employer. Wow! This is management's fault. How moat shite slurpers are something else. Altair and Axel are doing just fine towing the line. What a coincidence that the two biggest divas with undiagnosed behavior mo'ol issues quit. Not because of lack of money, but because meanie managers wouldn't let them tweet or talk about making meth labs in Stardew Valley. The very two who tried to push for female collapse the most. <gasps> who could have guessed? No! The whole mask off moment happening in that subreddit is pretty funny. Glad to see the fan base just implode like that. I legitimately think seeing the girls, including freaking Mori Biles crony, not give a goddamn shit about two homo stars graduating, broke the sisters. It forced a whiplash in their usual double think. Well, wait. They am family. They am talk behind scene all time. Why am not they sad? Kiara's bluntness. Stoke the fire? But Maury's professional response seems to have thrown even more wood onto it. I don't know if they expected tears or what. Add on to it that Belds and Crony haven't said anything either, and Amai did a karaoke, happily singing, on the day of their deaths. They're fuming! I don't get why they want the girls to be sad about the homo stars stabbing cover in the back and just leaving to stream on their RMs without even giving their fans a graduation stream. Because they're writing fanfic on how somehow, for some reason, the fact that stars' aunties are celebrating them being gone? They're the reason stars are gone. But all signs just point to them being dissatisfied with the contract. Beggars deify those homo stars! Seeing the girls apathetic and other people laughing at them or celebrating yeah, has completely mind broken them. Yeah, beforehand, they convinced themselves that the amount of people who dislike their homos were in the minority. The last couple of days have been a painful reality check. What's more important in life? Maintain as stable and successful as possible career as an entertainer in the world's biggest streaming business and earning considerable income and respect. Or getting into impulsive arguments, repeatedly antagonizing the customers of your female co-workers and ruining the reputation of your branch. Hmm, you mean if I do number two, I could potentially get suspended and then later on graduate? I'll have to leave all my fans behind? Well, to that, I have to say, ya ba da ba do fudge hololife, fudge my fans, and fudge you! This is a bad place. Do none of the sisters realize they got fudged by the two homo stars? And so did Tempest. It's hilarious! They left you dumb wee jazz for more money! The sisters are in the process of realizing that they are just as attached to the homo stars as the fans of the girls that they denigrate whenever they get the chance. Kirk! The homo beggars turn into holo aunties. It keeps happening. Hopefully these parasites won't plague us anymore. If their lack of awareness is really funny, condemn the girls and yet beg for them to collab with their boys? Condemn Cover as Black Company, but expect Cover to keep caring for the Homostars? They should keep calling Cover Black, and one day they will really axe the Homostars branch for good and fulfill their wish. Griff Tempest? Then, run off with fans who became hollow aunties? Imagine being in Homostars, cultivate your branch value just to have these freeloader poach them in less than a year. Homostars branch are doom. What branch value? Just look at Uproar. <laughs> They're bottom of the barrel shitters. 
even after cover shilled them at debut, and fast-tracked their 3D. Kiara? Bummer, I guess. Mori? I wish them. Well, now stop bothering other hollows about it. Crony? Crickets. Really feeling the love and heartfelt goodbyes for these fired losers. What a reputation to leave behind. A rich? Gorilla karaoke. To celebrate. Ruth, Rish, I kneel. The girls realized what grifters they were. Which is why Crony hasn't said shit about him for a while now. Sucks to be traitors. No final stream for their fans. No goodbye from half of their genmates. The first tweet Magni's roommate sent out after it was announced he would be graduating was a bad one. He basically admitted to freaking over his co-workers but was ready to move on and do what's best for himself now. Ah, real woe man moment. It was on par with Notsana's infamous tweet. Many people have sacrificed for my sake. That's putting it mildly. He freaked over his genmates. Big time. They basically won't have an anniversary celebration. Any and all projects tied to the anniversary have been canned. God knows what will happen with merch. So he screwed them financially, too. At least Sana told everyone ahead of time and graduated before Council's anniversary. These two seem to just drop holo stars on a whim. Mori sacrificed her numbers for these two actual poo fudgers? LOL! LUMO! Magni and Vesper cost them their genmates thousands of dollars. In tweepin' money. By completely destroying both of their anniversary plans. Ah, and a bunch of other projects they were in mid-development for. I'll be my best self? Ah, fixes, absolutely. Not thing. Crony comes off looking the worst. Goes out of her way to collab with them after and reply to a tweet when she just said she would never start interactions with them on Twitter. Not even a corpo tier don't ask me about it statement like Mori. Loses her fans, her friends, and looks like an even bigger hunt. I really do not know how people like her. Cronish should watch Kiara, Fuwamoko, Bijo, or Narissa. Someone that would actually appreciate them. If you've been in one of their fun discords, they're literally mind-broken and convince themselves that she likes them, Grim. They should stay exactly where they are. Containment is working. Keep it that way. Women of the alternative lifestyle always associate themselves with terrible men. Then, blame all men. I find it funny that Vesper would pretty much, without fully saying it, feed into terrible fans to have them go out and beg people for collabs, and feed into the antis by screaming stuff about frickin' their Oshi making this very toxic fan base. Now the bots left have to deal with it and piece the fudge out. Vesper freaked his branch over two months in starting cause his Fifi's got hort. So him taking a coward's way out and still freaking over his gen mates who needed the money more? is pretty on brand for a selfish pussy like himself. Good riddance to his obnoxious, fatherless cult followers. Why do homo beggars want to watch their homos interact with female? Aren't they attracted to them? So why do you want them to get intimate with another gender that might cause a relationship? Or are they literally just trying to incite the core fan base and try to break apart the norms that have already been established so they can feel they cause some sort of revolution? What's the thought process here? They are homo beggars. Homo beggars have no real oshis. I don't watch the girls. I don't watch the boys. I only tune in for homo collapse. Literally, the ultimate homo beggar tourist, Lu Mao. This might be worse than grey names. Thanks for sacrificing your time and money so I could whine into a new avatar and then quit. I'm gonna be my best self, LOL. It's Magni, a narcissist. Femboy lover, number Hora, joins cover and immediately collabs with anti-white Buich. Tries to bring the Twitch click to hollow life, fails and gives up on making any effort right after. Leaves without even saying goodbye at the first chance. Now just plays Genshin all day every day. You now remember that they were kicked out of hollow stars. And couple of days later, no one gives a shite. That is, 
how insignificant hollow stars are. Even Maury could barely even pretend to care about these losers. So much vitriol from sisters about Vesper Magni's graduation towards VT or unicorns when there are literally no signs they left for any reason but ma money. Like, what the fudge? Actual sisters seem to blame it mostly on those two. It's how Mobeg gars that don't actually watch them that are mad about idle culture blah 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 shite. Idle culture bad? I'm so sick and tired of this argument. These cultureless tourist subhuman should start watching Idle Master. The company itself is the biggest hollow life auntie. Kind of true. They are running some girls ragged and thus prevents real Kino from being made. Tempest without Magni and Vesper equals dead branch. What's the chance? Some delusional new company made of Western folks that couldn't cut it with the job autism in How Mo Stars and Me G E N appears. V. Show. Nand. With a revolutionary new idea called Tall, Lent, Free, Dom. Lol, How Mo's! It's literally over if Battle leaves, and there is a really good chance he does. Back to Niji begging! Sisters are so predictable. Drama whore. Random how mo. Random Spaniard. They're begging for the worst possible fudgers in existence. Even Ollie is way better than these. Classic Niji vermin. Can't Helmo beg anymore? It's time for Niji beggar to take their former throne again. Jesus, it's a never ending assault. They've taken the L on forcing the stars. So now. We get to see Niji begging again! It's like 2021 never left! Graduation? Oh, fudge off how, mo beggar! No one cares about your home. Mr. Ash! Yes! Us. Even I feel insulted with this level of retradation. Cool, inch. Why can't they read the fricking air? Why did he do it? Meanwhile, it is pretty funny that. No one in Tempus really seems to care either. After Axel gave his 10 minute talk, which the homo beggars conveniently leave out as they anti the girls. Didn't Axel say they're not here but whatever, but they only criticize the girls? Homo beggars being hollow aunties again. So, uh, Kiara owes them a cry or something? Hey, when they are essentially strangers, Somebody is certainly acting very entitled. Ow! <laughs> Pathetic, Helmo Trash. Uh, keep begging on X! Just wanted to make sure you guys all know how to keep up with the Lost Boys. Consider they were doing it in Helmo Sub left and right. It was only a matter of time before it happens on How Low One. Kek! These rare tats have moved on from begging for Tempest Collabs and are now begging the Holo Chat to watch their indie ciders, proving that Magni and Vesper really were scum that needed to be discarded. Why did he shed on some Vesper fans? Orc already sitting on Hollow Life for not letting him use his Life 2D, still on non-compete, confirmed. Literally said, Dorito Triangle Supremacists. Why, yes, I'm a Dorito Triangle Supremacist. How did you know? Don't mind me, I'm just setting up a receipt. Post what he said, and on, I don't want to hear that folk voice. I'll probably be an orb for the foreseeable future. We'll see. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I mean, for some people, it's probably like a deal breaker, right? Those triangleists, right? The, the Dorito-like triangle supremacists would be like, oh, orb, I'm out. I can deal with like a square, I can deal with like a rhombus, right? But no angles, right? No angles, really? In 2023, no angles? It's like what? It's a circle. Based! Make the divide between Hollow Life fans and these folks so utterly massive, it becomes impossible to repair it in any way, destroying the star's fan base in the process. Good. We will probably not have new homo stars for a long time, if ever again, since this folk destroyed the branch reliability. And sisters wonder 
why nobody cared for their graduation. First dream, and he is already shite-talking them. Is he freaking retreat it? Uh, if models were such a non-factor, we'd all be watching flesh tubers. The fact a grown-ass man acts like this is pretty hilarious. Never interrupt your enemy when they're making mistakes. Him sitting on hollow life? Mean he's gonna get a case on treatment? Tempest will be banned to collab with him. And the rift between Tempest fans will be widened. The blue Dorito shines the beautiful light of its supremacy on the Chosen. I make Dorito great again. Remove the male immigrants stealing all our hollow streams. Orc update. He was checked in a zoo for the majority of those seven weeks. My rat is mental institution. Hollow Chads. Mine broke the dude. Base unicorn gods. Blasting that sitter with mental death ray eyes. Those triangle supremacists. This image terrifies the male parasites. The blue Dorito Supreme My Cheese Quills, the How Mokex. Funny part is that even if the homo stars do decide to go full mask off, it will basically only affect the homo stars' friendly girls. Is this guy really so stupid that he doesn't realize that doing that will just alienate a lot of people that was willing to follow despite not being a stars anymore? How old is this guy? Let him cook. Let him cause more rift between Hollow Life and Homo Stars fan bases. He's going for the Hollow Life haters audience. The Homo Stars lover to Hollow Life anti pipeline is real. He knows the beggars were Hollow Antis. He should also know that Homo beggars don't engage with the content at all. Though. He probably thinks it'll work like this. I'm just like you guys, for real, for real. They don't give a shite about anyone who cannot damage the girls. Watching streams is parasocial and cringe after all. Vesper's also being a salty coont about the entire thing. I hope. The rest of Tempest? Shites on him. This folk got suspended because he has low impulse control, missed the Tempest anniversary because of anxiety, and then has the nerve to act like a salty wage post-graduation. No respect for anybody but himself. I hope they shite on his corpse. Homo beggars civil war incoming! I hope. He keeps going schizo about it. It just ruins the reputation of the whole Homo Stars project, and hopefully it, it will make more members think the whole thing is not worth it and leave. Goes from 3.5k to sub 2k in one stream? Damn! That graduation and drama buff is waning really freaking quickly. Is he multi streaming? It's reportable if he is. Kick. <laughs> it's gonna get real grim for real and quick. It'll be him and not Magni riding each other's nuts for the rest of their careers. Homo beggars are slowly coming to the realization that these sitter flops were graduated for a good reason. Being unhinged in Hololive is different from being unhinged as in Twitch Indie. It's nothing new. It's bargain bin. No one cares. This week is amazing. I can witness sisters seethe in Klein every passing day. Too bad. It didn't reflect on their almost ours numbers. Dip like a couple of pussies for money and clout. Uses every single person around them, including their own fans. Said fans are pretending they're super based and totally free from the corpo shackles now. They're going to hit the exact same wall Coco hit. And it's going to be so much faster and so much harder. This is going to be freaking brutal, Lamar. Have you forgiven her yet? Is it over for stars, Ian? How can they recover from this? By graduating right now! Cover should just start ghosting these folks. Just give them the job banishment room treatment until they all leave. Stars Ian, is there a future to Howlow Stars Ian? Did Magni and Vesper successfully destroy the branch? There's no way Cover can do new hires without being worried that they'll use the company for fame and bail. As things currently stand, no! There's no future for Hollow Stars. The strategy being used for them 
cram them repeatedly together with Hololife hasn't worked. More collabs with Hololife aren't going to help Holo stars, and just runs the risk of shrinking Hololife views instead. Okay. Here is how you fix how low starsis. Get someone who is good at drawing men. Create four characters based on the big archetypes. Shota, big guy that makes you feel safe. Prince who fudge hard, nervous wreck. Here they are shown by Kaoryu Mori to illustrate the point. Go all in the boyfriend experience. Don't even try to appeal to men. The only women should be. The viewers, the sister and mother of the boy. No female collabs. As long as Cover insists on treating the boys like they are women, there can be no future for the hollow stars. It doesn't matter what kind of talent they have or how good they are something, because there will be some ash howl on a suit looking over their shoulder, telling them how they can't do this and that because the girls don't do that and cover is too lazy to distinguish between one and another. The second thing would be to give them better designs because Holy Sid, there's not a single good one. Third, stop putting them together with the girls because that makes things worse for both groups and also creates more antiques as if they didn't have enough already. And fourth, there's huge gaps in time zones where nobody is streaming higher Europeans for the male branch, so they have an untapped market. Of course, we all know that Cover is not going to do any of this. And if there's ever a Tempest 3, it will be filled with the exact same mistakes. I don't understand on what basis they're blaming Cover for those folks leaving. You don't understand. If, uh, the boys are without flock. They can do no wrong. The homo beggar to hollow anti pipeline is real. Rertat doesn't realize that those two fudges basically saw a chance to try and do more money out of cover, but cover told them to sign or walk. Psycho. The unity to beggar to anti to felon pipeline is now complete. Here is one funny thing. Whatever happened with the Holo Stars didn't get just Magni and Vesper to quit, but also key figures in their structure. Proof to that? Their Reddit forum is completely abandoned, with the last pinned post by their own mod being Vesper 2.0. The Tempest Week didn't get pinned, meaning they no longer have an active mod for that place. It's not impossible that it was not just the social media manager too, but that they lost more staff in the process and are on their way to be absorbed into the Holostar's JP structure. We're getting closer. I can practically taste it. Don't forget, Omega's debut was also privated around the same time. I still wish that someone in EN would pick Reddit back up. It was good for recruitment point on that shithole of a site, and it would hopefully draw away some folks from here too. No one want to face the homo beggar lurking there. It's a big hassle. Ban stars contents. Hire active mods. This is the bare minimum needed. Give it to me straight. Homo beggars know that stars were given a lot of stuff too, but the only thing they were dissatisfied with is the fact that they weren't able to collab with the girls. Homo beggars will always be dissatisfied with the one thing they don't get since that's the last thing they can blame their lack of success on, besides their own content. Homo beggars don't give a fudge about the success or failure of the homo stairs. They just want to use them as a tool to hurt the fans of the girls. They won't be satisfied until all the girls, including Sonorish, are forced to collab with the boyish keck. Finding how Mo Beggar seethe in the most random places is hilarious, every damn time. They are treated like blacks in South Africa. Lumao! Holostars is literally apartheid! How Lee shite! Lumao! Homo stars are like blacks in Africa! The Yakuza should do something about it through force? 
the delusion of these beggars is reaching critical levels. This schizo is half a step from straight up saying, cover should force the girls to collab with the homo stars. That's what all the homo beggars want. Free access to Gura. I'm going to use sexual apartheid in the future. My freaking asides are visiting Santa. Homo beggar language sure gets weirdly close to int cell language, huh? Holo life and forced lesbianism. The imaginary gun has no chance against the real horny hags. I, for one, hope. Cover introduced. A true. A sexual apartheid. So I've been a victim of sexual apartheid my entire life. But when I speak about my experiences and struggles, they just call me names. And that I can't breed. Cover literally has the hollow stars out in the cotton fields, feeling the sting of the overseer's lash. When can I expect to get a shirt made from that cotton? I'd buy a whole new wardrobe if I could be assured that the cotton was 100% hand-picked by bleeding homo star's hands. The blogman of VTubing. That makes sense. Since Mori and Ame wants to fudge them, only missing Shiori, how many EN homo stars need to graduate for cover to just close the branch? Like, they wouldn't keep the project alive if only Betel and Altair decide to stay, right? What's next for Tempius? Fast disband or slow disband. Becameth hollow CN deleteth uh, a swoopeth uh, under the rugeth. May is gonna be doing threesome with Regis and Axel instead of four dudes total. Now that Magni and Vesper are gone, she loves the hollow star's cog so much. Regis will sit around being a Rurtap. Axel will slowly wither further and lose interest as collabs with women dry up. After he realizes Vesper and Magni stole his chance to be a seg pest, he'll leave. Red Shota and the Bara will fall further and further into obscurity and probably just sit there. They don't seem to care how badly they're doing and have even said they kind of do it on purpose. The clown's already as good as gone. The Hispanic might go either way, but he might stay if he can get an in to the girls. Axel being an annoying seg pest to every woman Chuba he meets is something that isn't discussed enough, honestly. What about Crony? Vesper is gone. Crony only loved him. A May loves all of Holostars. None of the guys left want to collab with Crony. The stench of Vesper's cement coming out from her is too strong. Do more boyfriend experience so fans have an actual incentive to give them money. Does Tempest or Hollow Stars in general even do boyfriend experience at all? All you really have to know about Hollow Stars JP's BEFE. So, a bunch of bumbling rurtats who don't take it seriously. Sometimes I wonder how Tempest would have looked like if the second gen came first. Same thing. What ruined Tempest One was management themselves granting them everything they want. There would be no difference. You only thinking about them as better because they were second. The only reason they're like that is because of management shift before their debut. The girls also started ignoring all of Tempest at that time as well. If these guys weren't ignored like Tempest One, they would have been just as insufferable. Tempest One? brought unironic Antish into the freaking community. The unity to beggar to anti-pipeline happening because all of them wanted to be ho-low life and gave zero shites about the Holo Stars brand or their senpai. You could honestly hear the derision in their voices in some of those JP collabs when they were forced to interact. All those neutral AF reactions to all the shites that the JP Stars did to welcome them were not thing to them because they were there to be ho, low life. These fudgers are also the reason Shinovve left. 
because EN stars were one of the last methods he had available to try and salvage the homos after the disaster that was uproar. Your voice has been heard. Your wish has been granted. Popular the Mond. You know what's popular? Drama. You know what outside the garden wishes for? Crumbling of the walls. The fall of Hollow Live. Chi spoke the truth. We were just unable to comprehend. Why have Stars fans decided to go after Cover of all things after the Red Hat Twins graduations? Cover have been the only ones to give two fudges about the Stars for years, yet they want to defend someone that clearly disliked the job and fans, and another who did a suspension speed run for being a caustic menhera. Ian management chilling, Tempest hard, and Yago himself promoting them is more than enough proof that those two are the ash howls that decided to graduate. Homo beggars know they lost their golden ticket and are coping about them being free and that they will do better. They are having that stream, after all. Her crazy incline incoming? The most corporate mandated strum in how most stars see the story. So corpo, the members found out from their fans. <laughs> ah, kick, They just combined the anniversary of Tempest 1 and 2 into one anniversary? A whole week? And people will still say cover treats them like trash? Damn. Is this the saddest Hollow Pro event ever? An anniversary that's been delayed for two months, and they had to shove in a bunch of other stars who aren't having an anniversary because half the first gen graduated? Rat? Temp Poop is having an early anniversary celebration because Cover knows some of them will not renew their contract and they want to avoid a repeat of Tempest's cancelled anniversary, so they'll milk some merch early before the inevitable demise. I had a laugh at all the Stars fans trying to funnel people to the two deplorables. We got a Zaporza Tempest boys by sending people out of the fan base. Actual rur tats? Dude, uh, you got a support the boys. No, not those the boys. The ones that only joined Hollow Life so they could funnel fans back into their roommate. Ah! Never interrupt your enemy with a mic and mistake. Check the quote retweets. A lot of sisters going in on them for doing it, right? After Magni and Vesper left, as if they're trying to memory hole them. If the sisters want cover to give Stars EN the Hollow CN treatment, they can go right ahead. Cover should just tell them they were terminated, so sisters will understand. Shinri was planning to have a week-long break next week. Just found out about the anniversary event from the tweet. Elema! Kek! They can't wait to finally bail from that sinking ship! Boy! Vesper and Magni's leaving? Must have really fudged up a lot of scheduled stuff. No wonder. Hardly anyone cares enough to send these Rurtats off. By the end of the year, there'll probably be only five members of Tempest left. They are subtly trying to bully the rest of them out, Kek. Just making decisions over their head and not telling them about it until later fricking their plans over. The two folks were just the beginning. Job! I kneel! Mr. Job, shut down this branch! I was pretty sure that clown would be sticking around and keeping the How Mo E.N. branch alive. But like, if this is how it's gonna go from here on out, I can actually see him saying, fudge this shite and dipping. Does Cover not care about homo stars anymore? Does anyone care about them? Besides the I upvote memes about them on Reddit but don't watch the streams crowd. Yeah, management doesn't care about them anymore. Just shooting their plans on to them. Should have been like that from the beginning. Wouldn't it be hilarious if Cover ends up delaying this shite again? It's time to start the second phase. We overworked the homo stars to death until they quit. Homo stars are dying, lol. They literally told no one. Elmo! God, and those two aren't even gone officially. I still can't believe how fast this failed abortion of a branch is crumbling. Sister's in shambles right now. That's right, sisters. Turn on the only people that give a fudge about the Hollow Stars. Hollow Myth debuted with two managers and one staff. Those Hollow Stars get everything on a silver plate and still whine? Like, they never worked a day in their freaking life. 
On the same week, people praise cover for giving the concert for free. We will have sisters being mad over stars. Can we? Just cut this part of the fan base already? Whenever they get cut, we'll still be stuck with the antis for years. Incredible. That Omega basically handcrafted an anti-brigade for Hollow EN. Single-handedly. So, Clown and the Bear Chest are gone in a couple months? Would this basically make Homo EN Cover's first ever truly failed branch? Cover will never do a hollow CN on them, as long as they still have members left. These four? Things are the reasons. Tempest is failing. The hires don't hire actual gay twinks or homos. You don't see Kuzuha freaking sucking digs. The models. What the freak are 90% of these models? The management? Self-explanatory. The fan base? Freaking gash. 99, 99% of them already! Uh, Kuzukek just sucks off all the e-celeb cogs these days. The biggest problem with their fans is that as long as they're under the How Low Pro umbrella, they will always keep trying to push for cross collabs. The issue is, of course, that 90% of the girls don't want to collab with them, and their fans see that as a war that needs to be waged on behalf of the How Low Stars. They're gradually becoming more radicalized on the issue, too. It's no longer enough that the girls feel free to make the choice. If they choose not to, they are immoral and of bad character for not collabing with Zaborz. He was so happy to be in Hollow Stars during his debut, and then a year afterwards, he just upped and left. What happened? He thought he'd be able to leech off the girls, to become a millionaire. Was optimistic, because he bought into the old EN fans are less Shijo than JP fans mean. Ended up being some of the best proof. It was just a meme. What do you mean I can't collab with Gora? I'm gonna manually raid her stream if you don't let me. Altair and him? was arguing about who gets to fudge Ame's pussy first. They had a big disagreement, but Altare won anyway. And from there, everything just went sour. Vesper got crony and calliope, but he wanted more. The other girls didn't want their BS. So the only correct move for Vesper was to get out. What's the point of staying anyway? Okay, first of all, Fudge, you, and second of all, Axel fudged Ami's pussy, not Altari. Go back and rewatch their collabs, and you'll understand. He had Seg with Crony and got too cocky. He tried to have Seg with Mori, and she crushed his pelvis. His injuries make streaming difficult, if not impossible. Yabba Dabba, Dwayne Omega, how did you get fired? Where are my female collabs? This is not what I came here for. I'm out. He wasn't allowed to creep on the girls and was put away in sexual apartheid. He was so happy to be in Holo Stars during his debut, and then a year afterwards, he just upped and left. What had fudged off in less than a year, pushed for Twitch streams and constant e celeb collabs, only joined to fuel viewers into his roommate, never cared about his fans, pathological liar damaged the Hollow Star's EN brand forever. Fudge this leech in particular! Don't fudge him. He'll like it. Vesper and Magni? Gone! Homo beggars? Still at it. It will never end. Who you? Is this bait? Who you hates that? He thinks how mo beggars actually know and care. Job! He's never gonna let the Homos anywhere near his current golden goose. He managed to create a popular idol unit that JP can't really seem to do. Why is colouring with males a big problem compared to when primordial VTubers were doing it years ago? Why is marrying a literal children and fudging her a big problem now compared to when people were doing it years ago? VTubing found its target demographic. It's pretty simple. Compared to when primordial VTubers were doing it? You mean, when no one watched them? LOL! Do you agree? The fact that they can only think about female collabs to make Holostars popular 
is pathetic. Once begging, can't stop begging. Life of an average Hamel beggar. You cannot give these fudgers an inch. The Holopro name? Once again being used to fuel misunderstandings that Hollow Life and Hollow Stars are some kind of combination unit. Also, this guy needs meds. You know what would be even more successful? So what if they just made a version of Hollow Stars, on, but no men at all? And only cute girls. Damn. He solved the equation. Just have girls instead of males. Add female members to Hollow Stars? Just cut to the chase. Axe Hollow Stars and debut females in Hollow Life proper. But there's a reason why Nijisanji is also known as Homo Sanji. Male VTubers currently exist in the same space that female streamers used to exist in nothing. Except being an e is known to work. And being a lousy knockoff of existing streamers just means you're a lousy knockoff that nobody wants to watch. The answer isn't going to exist in anything currently serviced by the market, much like how VTubers are the main way by which female streamers can be something that isn't exclusively a glorified cam girl. Most homo stars wouldn't make it as eSport bros, nor would they want to, so you might as well just dismantle holo stars at this point. You live and die by your solo content. Died. The leech clout chasing how mo deserves absolutely nothing. Not the scraps, not even the crumbs. Kecklol, Kecklol. Hollow Life members not even acknowledging the sitters graduating has pretty much killed any chance of their leeching pump and dump schemes from succeeding. Room mao, room mao. Get fudged, Rertat. What's their legacy for how low stirs EM? Magging yabba do. Nothing. They're already forgotten. The kind of legacy that a man leaves by pissing on a wall. It stinks for a few days, but then gets washed away by the rain. Sinking cronies' viewership. Ensuring the total unicornification of the EN branch from here on out. The first double termination in Hollow Life production. Causing problems for and ultimately killing their branch. They did for Hollow Life what the bubonic plague did for Europe. Proving that Star's EN don't work. Never hire normies and boys who haven't done their Hollow Stars reps. Proving to management and shareholders that it was a failed investment. Likely, Tempest will have less resources now, since management knows it is filled with flakes who are just milking it for clout. Complete segregation of Halloween and Starzian. So, what positive effect did the Hollow Stars branch have so far? They were an excellent guide of how not to shoehorn homo stars into a girl's only space. The positive effect was bringing EN to such a low point that Cover HQ couldn't ignore them and had to directly intervene to remove the worst of EN staff and management. Look at some video comments. Comments are mostly, oh new, I love them so much. I'm going to miss them, they are so relatable. The numbers don't add up. No one is watching them, no one is super chatting them, and in general, no one really cares about them when they were active. Why are people like this? It's easier to talk about how much you care for something than it is to actually care about it. Our Homo Stars lover friends don't watch streams. Remember that Unity folks on Twitter trying to brainstorm ideas to support stars without collab? And the tarts were saying they only have time to watch clips? That's the extent of dedication they have. Welcome to the EN fanbase. Filled with SJWs and unironic cucks. It's been known that homo beggars don't watch streams. Maybe one clip or another. At least, hollow stars. JP has a small loyal audience. The EN guys absolutely destroyed that. And there's lots of fawns. But nobody watches shite. Good evening, everyone. Cheers on Magni and Vesper graduation, day five. Who? <laughs> Uh, sorry. I don't remember anyone who has no effect on hollow life for longer than an hour. What went wrong? They were born with penises and tried to join a female idol group. 
Where'd those 14k likes go? Why aren't they watching Da Boys? What a hecka! Yago only has Hollow JP, Hollow E in, and Hollow ID listed under his profile. Where is Hollow Stars? Hello, Hill. Even the ultimate Homo Beggar Prime is losing faith in Homo Stars. It's over. All that Stars brand will be put on sale to another company. Stars subreddit abandoned. Stars EN flopped. No Stars concert this year. They're going to disband Hollow Stars. LOL! So, that's it. Unicorns? Just win? All thanks to Gurajab CGDCT Coalition! Not yet. We must pursue the homo beggars to all of their hoobies and destroy them. Holoplus is out! Follow your Oshis now! Homo Seister's not gonna like this. You can Thanos the homo stars from your feed. Cover will likely be able to see how many people choose to do that. I will install the app. If only to... And filter the homo stars. Right on the first onboarding page, I will now download your app. Lemo! Imagine low percentage for the homo stars. Homo filter! Ow! Tampa sisters! They have the filter for our boys on it. Hollow life does not equal hollow stars. It's on their official hollow plus. Homo beggar status, your homo stars will always be second citizens. Hollow spy here. Homo beggars are now hoping the rest of Tempest graduates, so they can all do unhinged stuff. At last, we have found common ground with the homo beggars. So, what's better for our agenda? The homo stars choosing to leave because of bad contract or cover firing them for being rare tats? All good as long as they fudge off. Now that Vesper and Magni are gone to set up her stage, who's her next victim? Do you Hollow fans really think controlling your streamer will make her like you? I don't care if they like me. I will complain at any mention of the Hollow Stars, any collab with the Hollow Stars, any sponsorship with the Hollow Stars. It doesn't matter. They can ban the anti Homo Stars messages and super chats whenever they want. If they don't want me complaining, then they can literally silence me. I don't care if they like it or not, or if they have more fun playing with the males. I am gonna come play. What would you do differently if you were any of these two? If you were Vesper or Magni, what'd you do differently to make it work? I'd listen to the voices in my head and end it all. Do the world a favor by committing necro. Never collab with girls. Shoot down anyone who asked me to. Ban every Hollow's name from chat. Why can't you all be like pick related? Males don't belong in the VTubing sphere. Cover is too stupid to realize that their male branch should just fully appeal to Fujos and Yumejos, like so many Nijizanks do. And because the biggest pushers of Hollow Stars are not women who want to watch CBDCT, but rear tatted homo beggars who want to talk about how Inna is fudging Kyo and head shipper sit like that. The whole point of VTubing was anime waifu streamers. Males just don't fit in. Not as much as they're pushing for them. Some do, Niji JP, even the Niji EN, but that should really be about it. That should be enough to pander to the small minority of hush bando fans and brow two bears. No need to flood a market that's already so thin if males were entertaining, they can be ugly as fudge and still make money. VTubing isn't for men. Collab with males? Low numbers. Don't collab with males. High numbers. It's that simple. You kneecorns! Watches streams will defend you from aunties and rabid sight stirrers. Devoted, supportive, and believes in infinite growth mindset. Homo beggars, dirty clip watching maggots, rat peddlers, drama horse, Western agenda polluted toxicity, encourages dogs, and desperately wants Holo Life to devolve into a bargain bin at Nijisanji 
Why do they keep making terrible business decisions and have the girls bail them out constantly when management's poor choices inevitably blow up? Cover is only lucky that their competitors are so much more incompetent and keep sitting their collective beds that they cannot catch up. Yago has lost his vision entirely. Uproar? Temp piss? Temp poop? Giving them 10 times the support that Hololife gets all for nothing? Who should take over as Cover's CEO? Reasons to drop your Oshi? Collabs with a males? Watch as Mori, Crony, Anna, Vox, and Orluka. Real talk for a sec. Brother or dad? Any form of trauma dump? My boy Ak? Up, uh, boat bro brother? Any form of trauma dump? Very few tubas are capable of avoiding this. It's my personal biggest deal breaker, and it's crazy how many big names miss the mark on it. I wish they realized how disturbing and rude it is. This. I'm here to be entertained, not depressed, my fucker. And then, they get mad. Or, I'm not your friend psychologist when their fans trauma dump with them. Like, what did you expect, Booage? The one golden rule. Any idol that collabs with men should be treated like an unfaithful whore. Has BF, currently, non-virgin, does or did drugs, who's leftist, shite on her fans, breaks immersion with we're not friends type comments, complains about idol culture or parasocialism, likes and or constantly jokes about NTR. Shite on her fans, that's it. In fact, that's why most of this board drops male calabers, because they then proceed to shite on you for complaining about it. All right, red pill me, why are male collabs bad? The real answer is that it's a unique entertainment form. Women and men act differently around each other by merit of their gender alone. When you mix them too much, you get intergender behavior, which is the norm of almost every single entertainment form available. It's kind of safer or more neutered. Gender segregated entertainment is much more rare, and some people find it more entertaining than the mixed kind. Examples of this are sororities and fraternities, they allow a unique kind of closeness and behavior that can only be fostered in gender-segregated environments. Another example you might have experienced is when you walk in a room with a bunch of women talking spiritedly amongst themselves, and when they see you, a male in the room, they suddenly become quiet, and you can tell the topic changed. Sometimes that's because they're talking about women's stuff, love shite involving people you might know, etc. But it's also this phenomenon, a male version of this is toning down their banter. A lot of women just can't take banter. The ones who say they can usually can only take a little. They just don't handle it like men do. For a man watching, that can be boring. For a woman watching, that can cause the stream to lose some of the charm it had before since they're women. And don't get to experience that like men do. I've been told that last part many times by several women. They like how men act around other men in simple terms of friendship. What's more, if you look across history, you find constant drama derived from mixing the genders. Almost every fiction or non-fiction story labeled with drama will almost certainly involve a woman and a man's romantic involvement. A lot of viewers came to Hololife specifically because they were running from the Twitch streamers constant drama and other bullshit. Some came for the gender segregated behavior they were selling themselves off of, and some just showed up because they thought it was cool in general. What's clear, however, is that this is a small niche approach to streaming. There are obvious alternatives to Hololife that clearly go about it the normal way, Niji for instance. But these types of people don't care. They want to specifically target the one single group that wants to do things a different way they don't like and put extreme effort into dismantling it for no other purpose than to ruin something someone else enjoys. They want to do this instead of, get this! They use this one a lot when you tell them you don't want to watch that kind of thing just watching something else. EOPs, when the chuba does the bare minimum of not insulting their audience and at least trying to do something genuinely. The bar is that low, yes. You don't even understand how difficult it is for a woman to not insult others. Seems like JP talents managed to keep that in check while streaming, at least so it can't be that hard. I envy hollow unicorns. There is a two view I adore so much. She's slowly howering herself, constantly talks about her male friends and male chubas. Luckily, she's too shy, but I know I'm all alone, and my time is running out. I do not know what to do anymore. 
My war against the evil Halmos rages on. You're supposed to groom them into avoiding males and doing ear licking. You failed her! <laughs> Rate the graduation streams! Where's our sticky guys? No graduation streams, no sticky. Kekaroo! My fellow blue Dorito supremacists, where are we at? Why can't we be friends? Why can't Hollow Life and Hollow Star fans get along? Because how most stars fans are a minority, and I freaking hate minority. Let's write a farewell letter to the graduating homos, word by word. I'll start. Dear Yappa, Dapa. Now that the dust has finally settled, what do we feel? Not enough graduations.